Hello. Slowly fade the music out dramatically. Hello, hello. I have terrible news, kind of terrible for me. I don't think anyone else cares, but um, my death mod broke. I mean, we knew it was broken yesterday, but I, I tried, me and Jimmy tried for like an hour just now to fix it. This one, Ashes. It says it's working, but it's not. So I don't know what we're going to do about the death penalty stuff. I guess I kind of, I just have to play without them. I don't really know what to do. We even tried downloading a different mod. It was called like Nemesis Death something something. And that one didn't work either. <laughs> the game just doesn't want me to have death penalties. It wants me to play on baby mode. But, but I can't really do anything about it. It's because you're a vampire. Definitely it broke as soon as I became a vampire. But we tried Jimmy like. He disabled being a vampire. Still didn't work. Uninstalled the mod. Reinstalled it. Didn't work. Just say the word if you need uh, to something to eat. Changed like races in game. Because <laughs> that's something that one of the on the forum someone said to try. It didn't work. Like, we tried so much and it doesn't work. So we're playing on baby mode with no death penalties, I guess. It's very sad for me. I was thinking of like still dropping all my items when I die. But the, then, like, I don't respawn in a bed anymore. Like, it auto-reloads the last save now. So There's even if I drop all my items, it's like, well, I'm right there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's so sad for me. Yes. Get up the difficulty, I suppose, to, like, make up for it. I kind of like that. Yeah. I'll think about that one. That's a pretty good idea, though. That's a good compromise, maybe. Maybe. Need something. We'll see. I still, <laughs> I still have hopes that it's gonna just fix itself, but, I, uh, it's pretty unlikely. Yeah. I can't believe becoming a vampire just ruined my life. Dude, the fucking the things we do for what do you want? for love, you know, things I do for my wife. <laughs> Terrible. What do you? But want? yeah. Maybe next time don't love. <laughs> yeah, just no more love. No more loving anyone. Love love is bad. That's the lesson learned. <laughs> love causes like suffering and, and inconvenience. The college <laughs> and hey, Justin, thank you for the 70 months. A crippling runescape ruined my life. But hey, how's it going? <laughs> a look. It's very relatable. <laughs> it's going pretty good. How are you doing, Justin? Runescape addiction. See ya. Yep, that shit's pretty life ruining. I agree. Could you make it to only manually save out of bed? Mm, I still feel like that's not the. It's not as good because then I'll like fully lose progress. Whereas with the death mod, like I never lost any progress. I was just you know teleported somewhere else. You know, today I'm just gonna try really fucking hard not to die. <laughs> that's gonna be my... That's what we'll try today. Really hard not to die. <laughs> hey, Concerned Carpet, thank you for the seven months. <laughs> Yer. Mm -hmm. The MFs in chat years ago weren't lying about not being allowed to play video games after 25. I remember that. What do you want? <laughs> yep, work is hell busy. I feel like an old man can't play games. That sucks. Gotta start getting into mobile gaming. Make a game at work, maybe. Huh? Huh. Whoa. It's, why do they, why do they look so mad would. at me? <laughs> but yeah, so the death was broken. Just, you know, had to break mm -hmm. the news to everyone. Other than that, uh, <laughs> how's it going? How's That's everyone doing? I'm really excited to play today, even though my mod's not working. I'm really excited to play. Got some crazy stuff happening. Well, crazy stuff happened yesterday. Thank I think yesterday you. was one of the most exciting days of Skyrim of my life. I say that a lot, but it's like, I'll have a crazy exciting day and I think it can't get any better. Then the next day it gets even better. Yes. It's always it's always going up. But yesterday I found the, the Elder Scroll. Where is it? For the first time, I keep reading it, but it makes me blind. 
I just really like reading it though, even though I can't read. It's kind of cool. The what the feeling that? is kind of like you know when you like press on, you close your eyes and you kind of like press on your eyeball, and when you open your eyes again, this better be uh, you get like. I I I think they're called like sun, sun spots. I don't know what they're called, but you get these like blotches in your vision. That's what it looks like in game. <laughs> When when you try and read the Elder oh. Scroll, <laughs> one of these days it's really gonna make you go blind. That'd be so. That'd be funny, that? but very fucked up. <laughs> Someone in the chat yesterday was like, uh, "It'd be funny if you we'll you only get ten tries of like messing with it, but then on the eleventh try you are permanently blind this for the rest of the playthrough." <laughs> Winterhold doesn't offer much, but we like living here. Been here all but yeah, so I got the Elder Scroll. Um. I'm supposed to go... Oh! Okay, so I got the Elder Scroll. S Septimus passed away. That was not ex... Well... It was exciting. Like, interesting, but... And surprising, but... Sad. Septimus literally poofed. Like, he poofed and turned to dust. And died, I guess. So that was kind of insane. Um... And then I pledged my allegiance to... What was his name? Hermaeus Mora? And now I'm his little minion, I guess. I'm his little minion. He's like a tentacle monster guy. I think he's like a, yeah. a Daedra. What do you call himself? Like a Daedra spirit or something like that? He's a demon. Basically, he's a demon. And I pledged my allegiance to him. I don't know if I really uh, like him. Son. Like, I, I don't think he's a good guy or anything like that. I actually think he's a bad guy. Just, you know, just first impression. Didn't get a great first impression, but I pledged my allegiance to him because I think he's very interesting and I desperately want to know more about him. So I feel like the best way to know more about him is to get in close with him, you know? Uh, pledge my allegiance to him. So I'm really excited to see what happens with that. I had no idea that, like I've, I know that there's like little demons in this game, like the Daedra and vampire. Well, I guess a vampire's not a demon. You know, I know, I knew that there's monsters in the game, but I didn't know that there'd be like wacky tentacle monsters. That was <laughs> that was a fucking shock to me. So mm -hmm. that was cool. I'm excited to see where that goes. The tentacles do seem to ruin first impressions. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm being judgmental. Like maybe I'm being too harsh, and the reason I think he's a bad guy is because of the tentacles. <laughs> maybe I'm not as open-minded as I think. But I'm really excited to know more about that. So right now, my quest is to... Oops, I didn't mean to set that. Um, I have to bring the Elder Scroll that I found to the Time Wound on top of High Hrothgar. So that's definitely... We're gonna definitely do that today. But before we do that, I really wanted to go back to Skyhaven, which is over here. That's where I last saw Esbern, which was like the, the old man that... Uh... He told me about the prophecy and everything about the Dragonborn. So I want to go back and talk to him now that I have the Elder Scroll and see if he has anything new to say. So that I think that's what we're going to do first today. So we're going to go see if Esbern's still around and see if we could talk to him. That is my plan. Oh, and I want to do the vampire quest because... I think, realistically, I need to let go of my death mod and just accept that it's broken. But a part of me is still like, but what if, like, what if I finish the vampire quest and it fixes my death mod? So I want to do the vampire quest just to see if it would I fix it. I, it yeah, probably word, won't fix it, but... You know, you gotta try everything. What's your opinion of the blades? I think they're fucked up and I don't like them. I think the blades are fucked up because... We well, don't have as much to offer as White Run or Solitude, but we'll do what we can to make your stay. I'm trying to remember one of the lore books I read in game mentioned how, or no, maybe it was Pathernax told me this. I think it was Pathernax told me that when the dragons, like years and years and years ago, in the in the lore, the dragons tried to, like, work alongside humans, like the good dragons, but the blades just wouldn't accept them. Like they wouldn't even accept the good ones, and wouldn't trust them or anything. And they kept like killing dragons. And I feel like that's fucked up. They should have worked together and the blades should have been more open-minded. So in my eyes, they're bad guys. I, 
personally really like dragons. I don't like the bad ones to try and kill me, but clearly Pathernax exists and he's a good one. So they're not all bad. And I really like them. And the fact that someone would, you know, the fact that the blades keep killing them is just messed up. And I don't agree with it. She says that she rides past the corpse of a dragon. <laughs> well, that one tried to kill, kill me. He's one of the bad ones. But sometimes they're good. Is this a thief? Eh. I'll let him live. It's cold. It's cold outside. I'll let him live right now. It's too cold. Too cold to fight. Yeah, we only kill the bad dragons. Exactly. <laughs> if the dragons didn't attack me first, I absolutely would not attack them. Yeah, that, that's my opinion so far of the blades. I mean, I know Esbern is in the blades. I do like Esbern. Just because he, you know, he's an old man with a ton of lore. I think his title in the Blades was he was like the lore master of the Blades. If I'm remembering right. And I respect that. So, you know, I love lore, so I automatically like him. But I did not like the girl. I, I forget her name. Was, I think Delphine? I didn't like her. She was too serious. She was too serious about everything. She needs to lighten up a little bit. Did anyone tell you that Pathronax is voiced by the voice actor of Mario in Nintendo games? Yeah, people are saying that. I admittedly have not played many Mario games. I think the only one I ever played was Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo DS. And I don't remember there being voice acting except for Mario going, Yahoo! Whoa! What, what the hell is this? <laughs> what? Never seen one of those things in my life. I've only I've seen like ice creatures, um, but only when they're summoned by someone else. I've never just seen one out and about. What the fuck is happening? And now they're fighting skeletons. Oh my god! I'm, I'm what? And they're exploding. I want to go check it out, but I'm freezing to death, so I I got it. I gotta go. I gotta save myself. Save myself. I don't think you can judge all of the blades for a few bad actors, but it, from the lore that I've heard and read about in games so far, it sounded like all of the blades were like insanely anti dragon. And the Greybeards don't like the Blades, and I really like the, the Greybeards. I'm 100% on the Greybeards side. Oh my god, man. Ouch. I'm on the Greybeards side no matter what. I love them. I think they're good guys. I really respect their lifestyle. Like, I like that they live in the mountains. They, you know, they spend a lot of time just chilling, meditating. Just a really laid back lifestyle. I like that. I want a really laid back lifestyle like that. You'd hate the dragon suit if they attacked your country. <laughs> um. True. Probably. But I do have a soft spot in my heart for dragons in general. Because when I was a little kid, I was obsessed with dragons. Like. I had like little dragon statues in my room. I had dragon action figures. I had that dragonology book. Any video game that had to do with dragons when I was a little kid, like on PS2 or something, or PS1, I had to play it. So, you know, I grew up on, on Spyro and everything. There are some other dragon games too. Oh, Dragon Age Origins. That's one of the few like single player games I played a lot on the PS3. Cause when, around when PS3 came out, I, I moved away from single player games and like pretty much just played only Call of Duty for a really long time. But I played Dragon Age Origins because I had Dragon in the title. <laughs> I remember, I vaguely remember this one game that 
It was like a very not popular game that I rented once called, I think it was just called Dragons. Like I don't, all I remember from that game is flying around as a dragon. Like I don't remember a story. Like I don't remember anything about it except just, <laughs> just flying around. But I remember renting it and playing it quite a bit. Take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. I find a fire to sit at. It's not Blaze the Sun. Rain of Fire game? Any mm, I don't know, that name doesn't doesn't ring any bells. Layer? <gasps> that sounds familiar. You know what? I'm actually gonna look it up. Maybe. Maybe it was called maybe this is it. The the front, uh, like the cover doesn't look familiar, but the the screenshots of the gameplay do. Like I'm looking at a screenshot of a dragon flying around, that looks familiar. Maybe that's what it was, I don't know. Could be, that could be it. Damn, that's crazy that you, you can remember that off the top of your head. I wouldn't have played it very long, like I would have just had it for a week and just rented it, but I do remember liking that one. Hi, Fugsy! Sorry, I, I didn't say hi to most people today. I had to explain the death mod situation, but hello! I jump for what mod is broken, the death mod, like with the death penalties, it's very sad. If you search Dragon Game PS3, Layer's the first one to show up. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it probably was that one. This it it looks really, looks familiar. Legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero, paint a warrior's heart. Uh, where is Kotsen on your list of games? You, like, on like favorites? Um, honestly, I don't like Call of Duty anymore. Um, maybe, you know, maybe I poured too many hours into it and I burnt out. Maybe I grew out of it. I don't know. My taste definitely changed like with games but for a really long time the cod games were my like absolute favorite i was obsessed with them for so long but i wouldn't ever really want to replay them now so i don't know i think i'll always like have love for call of duty like the old ones just because i put so much of my life into it um and it like Definitely those games like really influenced me growing up. And I made a lot of like connections and friends through them. But I I don't like them anymore, so it's hard to rate them highly still. It's definitely not anywhere near <laughs> my favorites list, but you know, I always have love for him. She was such a helpful young lass. I think we've warmed up enough. Cod to MMO to single player roleplay game is mine. That's your progression. That's kind of like mine. I, I was obsessed with Call of Duty. Then I was obsessed with RuneScape. Then I was obsessed with RuneScape oh, and Counter-Strike all at the same time. Um, and yeah, lately I've been playing a lot of... If, well, I, I wouldn't say I've been playing a lot of single player games, but more than, bef more than before. Had my eyes open to him, but I still, I still love Counter Strike and I still love RuneScape. Did I play Half Life? I have not played Half Life. Pretty much, like <laughs> almost every single pl single player game that you can name that came out in the past like 15 years, uh, it's a 95% chance that the answer is no. I haven't played it. I really like. I was very one-track minded with my video game addictions, like, <laughs> in my head, <laughs> I, it was kind of like, oh, someone would be like, oh, you should try this, this video game, and I'd be like, why? I already have a video game, <laughs> it's Call of Duty, or RuneScape, or Counter-Strike. But it, it kind of worked out, because, uh, now that, I still, like, I love old games. Like, I, I don't mind if a game is clunky and old at all. I actually find it quite charming. 
So I think it's kind of cool now because I get to go back and play a lot of people's like favorite games or like really iconic games that came out, you know, 15 years ago or something or however long ago. Um, I get to experience them now. And I, like for me, I don't know, just the fact that it's old and clunky doesn't like hinder the experience at all for me. All right, we gotta go to Mark Karth. I think, I think we just take the carriage. That's a long trip. Monopoly. Well, I, I mean, I played Monopoly, but. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. When I was a really little kid. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Mark Karth. Back and we'll be off. You ever met one of them? Should play Fable? I really want to play Fable. I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to play Fable really badly. Because I think I went to like my friend's house when I was a little kid, and her older brother was playing it on their Xbox, and it looked so fucking cool. Um, but I didn't have an Xbox, so I couldn't play it. I was a I was a PlayStation kid. I had PS1, PS2, PS3, and then around when like PS4 was starting to come out, people were swapping from PS3 to PS4. I swapped to PC gaming like exclusively, oh, no more consoles. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean room. This is the silver. Yeah, I really want to play Fable at some point. Sure. I actually, I have the old day. Fable games on I'll Steam. I bought them right this way. a couple years ago, but never got around to playing them. Um, I don't know if that's a game I would want to stream or if that's just something to play on my own. I guess it would depend what people like if people would want to watch me play it. But even then, if I did want to play it on stream, that'd be so far in the future because I. 100% like I'm gonna play Oblivion and Morrowind after Skyrim so you know my my game list is a little bit booked up right now <laughs> huh, let's put it on stamina damn I got two perk point things I haven't been spending them you know what I'm gonna put a point into heavy or er, one-handed Power attacks cost 25% less stamina. I like that. What's this one? No, I don't use a war axe. What's this one? Attacks with maces? No, I don't use those. Dual. F I don't use dual wielding. Guess we'll go with blades, man. Let me know if there's anything else you need. So dying doesn't matter anymore, right? Yeah, I guess not. I mean, I'm still gonna try really hard not to die because it. I want dying to matter. <laughs> Unlike my but, I mean, the mod's broken. I, I really don't know what to do about it. I don't know a good compromise, either. Because, like, dropping this stuff doesn't really work the same way if I don't respawn out of bed and have to go back and get it. Because it's like, if I die and I just spawn and drop my stuff at my feet, it, I don't know. It's just a little weird. Do a shot of olive oil every time you die! <laughs> that sounds like my worst nightmare. Have you guys heard of those like if I olive oil things from Starbucks? Sure my wife will... It's Let's it's called like an oliato, mm. like an olive oil. Well, I don't know. Like an olive oil latte, I think is what it is. Um I've never had one. I will never have one. Like, I don't think you could pay me money to try that. That sounds fucking no, awful. But I was- I, I saw online people said that the olive oil thing from Starbucks makes people like shit their pants. <laughs> like it makes people have a horrible, horrible like stomach uh, issues. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. A letter? Looks like that's I haven't gotten a letter in a while. Where is my my letter? Y'all see a letter on this list? I don't see it. Oh, letter from Tyra Bloodfire. Oh, Tyra. It's a pretty name. Flubby, my name is Tyra Bloodfire. Like, Sawtildy the wet year before me, I'm an orphan child of Balmora. 
Many years ago, I took a band of misfits and rogues and turned them into the Crimson Dirks. In our heyday, they called us thieves, bandits, apostates, and killers. And they were right. We were all of those things. But so is the Jarl who taxes the poor to starvation, the soldiers who rape and pillage the towns, the Empire who would erase our gods, and the guardsmen who would behead the innocent. I know your story. If there's going to be a judge for me, I don't want it to be them. Not the Empire, not the East Empire Company, and not the guards. Just you and the Divines. But first, I want you to prove you're a worthy judge. Go to the docks in Windhelm. Then you'll meet a beggar in need of your aid. Some would offer him gold. Uh, oh man, it kind of cut off the text. <laughs> Others bread or wine. Offer him the... Don't know what that those letters are. Offer him the blank you think will best serve him. Oh, maybe amount? Um, once you have proved your measure and your mercy, you must then show your medal. I will wait for you at the Tallow Shrine west of Windhelm. When at last we meet, I ask that you speak only with your blade. For while the tongue lies, the sword is true. Who am I? What? Who am I to judge or execute some random person? Why didn't you choose me? I don't want that responsibility. Well, that sounds so, so stressful. I don't want to be the the judge judgment person of anyone. <laughs> what the fuck? I am not worthy of this. Uh. This. I don't, I don't even know the sure word. Right this power, the maybe? You murder people all the time. Only when they attack me first, and only once did I murder an innocent, and that was when I needed blood for the Elder Scroll. <laughs> You're the Dragonborn, the Archmage of the College. I don't think that makes me fit to decide. Fancy yourself an alchemist? Hmm? You no, know, someone's like, the someone should have the death penalty or not? I didn't go to school. I didn't. Uh, I didn't pass like a exam to be a judge. I don't think I, I don't think this is a responsibility I want. Those that seek power are not worthy to invest it. <laughs> you are perfect. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> oh, that's too much responsibility. I kind of crumble under that kind of pressure. Every murder seems to be an accident. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe not an accident, but more so like uh, self defense. Anyway, <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I'll be the judgment of that person. I'll think about it. But first, I want to get to Skyhaven Temple and see if Esbern is still there because I want to talk to him. Lydia was an accident. That one was an accident. That's the only one. That's the only one that I'm, I'm saying is an accident. It's not a trend. <laughs> There's not a lot of accidents here, it's just one. Just that one time, one horrible, horrible time. Man, I love this place. Okay, I think that's Skyhaven Temple right there. Oh yeah. Who's there? Whoa! 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 Why is there so many like skeleton guys? What the fuck? Or zombies, or zombies. <laughs> A malignant zombie? strong oh my gosh terrible terrible swings for me hey Joe thank you for the raid hello hello welcome everybody I'm getting my ass beat right now but I will live I'll live and prove myself to Joe and his viewers Hey, Tovikin! Yo! Thank you for the 21 months, Joe! I'm actually gonna die. Dude, I hope you had a good stream. What were you playing today? I'll protect you, Serana. 
You're playing Minecraft? Really? What, uh... Oh, God. What version of Minecraft? Oh. Like, uh... Like, hardcore or something, or just regular multiplayer? Steampunk mod of some kind? Oh, that's cool. What happened to my ghost? Um, I'm trying not to use him right now. My my mod that gives me death penalties I've been playing with broke. Um, so I'm trying to like compensate by not doing the, you know, like using the really OP stuff I was using before. I feel like that's a good compromise maybe. Why is this thing mad at me? But yeah, welcome everyone from Joe's stream. I'm playing Skyrim for the first time because I've never played it before because I've lived under a rock for for far too long. And you know, we're just we're going through it, we're trying to make a life for ourselves out here. Is this guy not dead? A peaceful greeting to you. Yeah, peaceful. Very peaceful out here. Who's there? Oh shit. What's up, Cusby? Murder an innocent Khajiit. I don't know how innocent they were. They're they're all attacking me. These guys are starting fights with me. Okay, this guy won't die. <gasps> They came back to life! Oh. This guy's a conjuration. Who's there? Oh my. <laughs> oh, he died that time. Wait, no, he didn't. Uh, I think we're like stuck in a loop of him going down and then coming back to life and trying to kill me. I think that's a sign that we get the heck out of here. I run. I 24 pack beer. All right, Serrano, let's run. Let's get out of here. We're not winning this fight. That guy's immortal. I think you accidentally shouted at them and made them hostile. Oh, that makes sense. I can't blame them for that. I would also get a little freaked out if someone shouted at me. I don't know if I'd become hostile, though. I think I would just cry. <laughs> I think I would just become really, really sad. Oh shit, dragon. That cat got nine lives? True. Khajiit should get nine lives, like, just always. Oh man, I don't want to fight that dragon. I, I need to go to Skyhaven Temple. I wonder if he could just climb the mountain. Um, I know, I know I can enter the temple through like a cave, but I wonder if it's possible to just climb the mountain. It kind of looks like you can't, maybe. <gasps> Oh. oh, I'm going in. I'll just go through the cave. I remember this place. Nice, cozy little, little cave. Scaring horses do have magical mountain climbing skills. That's true. I don't think I'm very good at utilizing them, though. I can climb down a mountain pretty well, but not up a mountain. I definitely know how to climb down a mountain without dying, usually. I've got a pretty good track record of not dying climbing down mountains, I would say. You know, not to be... Not to be full of myself. 
a quick save here because I have died here before. Hopefully this trap is disabled now. I'm not going to trust it. Hilda for what to enable that trap again and kill me man I haven't been here in a while this is like I think it was like two weeks ago that we were here it's been a long time things have changed so much since then my life looks so different now It's a face! The temple! So I want to come back here. Since I have my first Elder Scroll now, I want to talk to Esbern and see if he's got any... any thoughts and ideas about it. Or, you know, any opinions? Any opinions? I wonder if he's still here. Wait, is he not still here? Where'd my buddies go? I thought they'd, you know, I thought they'd live here. I thought they'd set up shop here and live here for life. probably asleep. Let's check. I can't see anything. It's too dark. It's my candlelight spell. Oh, yeah. I think you'll install any mods later down the line after you complete the game. Um, I mean, I, I had the mods that I wanted already, like, with the death penalties, but the mod ended, ended up breaking, which really sucks. It, like, broke just the other day. It was working perfectly for most of the time. Damn, Esbern's gone. What if he died? I don't know. I want to try playing, like, once I beat the game normally, I think it'd be really fun to try, like, a permadeath mode, like, hardcore, on Legendary Difficulty, just to see how far I could get. I think it'd just be fun for me. I think I might be slightly masochistic. I don't know. At least in games, not, not in anything else. Oh, I think that's an exit. Do you think he and Delphine date each other? I don't know. He's kind of old for her, don't you think? He was, you know, he's like in his 70s. She was like 30 or 40. See what books they got here. Social history. Darkest Darkness. That's a cool book. Cool. Oh, I want to read this one. I like all the Daedra stuff. Delphine is old as fuck. No, I think she was like 30 or 40. Hi, Clumsy, have I seen Dune 2? No, but I've heard amazing things. I haven't seen Dune 1, so... Got some catching up to do. I've heard really good things, though. Everyone keeps talking about it on Twitter. Alright. I'm gonna read this book real quick. Um, In Morrowind, both worshippers and sorcerers summon lesser Daedra and bound Daedra as service, servants and instruments. Most Daedric servants can be summoned by sorcerers only for very, very brief periods within the most fragile and tenuous frameworks of command and binding. I feel like I might have read this one before. Uh, <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's skip through a little bit. Um, 
Yep, they're only bound for a little bit. Uh, some of them can be... Hmm. Oh yeah, they can be bound into weapons. Um... Alright. I'm gonna start from this page. Hey, Chili, thank you for the 200 bits. How'd you change the font in the books? Is this on PC? Yeah, this is this is on PC. I got a mod. I'm not sure the name of it. I can- I think I have Vortex open, I can look real quick. Uh, oh, it's called Alternate Book Fonts SSE. I'm actually gonna add it to the mod menu. That's a good time to do it. Um, Alternate Book Fonts SSE Old Type Face. There you go. Yeah, I had to I had to get a mod because the original font was really hard for me to read. It's making me <laughs> it's making me really bad at reading. <laughs> Although I've since learned I might just be bad at reading. It might not have been the font, but this definitely helps a little bit. All right. Um, the Tribunal Temple of Morrowind has incorporated the venerations of Daedra as lesser spirits subservient to the immortal Alm Sivi, the trident godhead of Almalexia, Sothisil, and Vivek. These subordinate Daedra are divided into the Good Daedra and the Bad Daedra. Good Daedra? <laughs> the Good Daedra have willingly submitted to the authority of Al Alm Sivi. The Bad Daedra are rebels who defy Alm Sivi, treacherous kin who are more often adversaries than allies. The Good Daedra are Boethia, Azura, and Mafala. The Hunger is a powerful and violent lesser Daedra associated with Boethia. Father of Plots, a sinuous, long-limbed, long-tailed cr creature with a beast skulled head, noted for its paralyzing touch and ability to dis disintegrate weapons and armor. The Winged Twilight is a messenger of Azura, goddess of dusk and dawn. Um... Spider Daedra are the servants of Mephala, taking the form of spider humanoid centaurs with a naked upper torso, or naked upper head, torso, and arms of human proportions, mounted on the eight legs of a giant spider. These Daedra are so fierce and irrational that they cannot be trusted to heed the commands of the spinner. As a consequence, few sorcerers are willing to either summon or bind such creatures in Morrowind. It's interesting that it said that a good Daedra is Boethia, because I... I... Just, like, just yesterday I heard about Boethia for the first time, and I read a little book about Boethia, and in that book, it said that she, she killed all of the people that served her, except for the one that killed someone else. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I think their, uh, their definition of good is very, very different from mine in this book. Okay, the bad Daedra are Maroons, Dagon, Malakath, Shiogorath, and Molag Ball. Oh, Mol Molag Ball is the guy who made vampires or something. I remember that from, from the other day. I gotta start taking notes on this game. <laughs> My memory is decent, but not, not always the best. Uh, three lesser Daedra are associated with Maroons, Dagon. The agile and pesky scamp, the ferocious and beast-like clanfer, and the noble and deadly Dramora. The croc crocodile-headed humanoid Daedra called Daedroth is a servant of Molag Bal, while the giant but dim-witted Ogrim is a servant of Malakath. Shiogorath's lesser Daedra, the Golden Saint, a half-clothed human female in appearance, is highly resistant to magic and a dangerous spellcaster. Another type of lesser Daedra often encountered in Morrowind is the Atronach, or Elemental Daedra. Atronachs have no binding kinship or alignments with Daedra lords. Serving one realm or another at whim, shifting sides according to seduction, compulsion, or opportunity. That's kind of cool. I'm taking this book with me. I I think the Daedra stuff... Oh my god, I'm too heavy now. I think the Daedra stuff is really, really interesting. And I'm so excited to learn more about it. So every time I... Every time I get a book related to it, I gotta, I gotta read it and I also like to keep it. Just in case I want to read later. 
Man, I gotta drop some of my stuff. I got too much. I dropped that staff. It's pronounced Boethia. Yeah, someone yesterday said I was pronouncing it wrong, but... Uh, dude, that just doesn't, like... I don't know, it just doesn't roll off the tongue. Boethia rolls off the tongue for me. Boethia. 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 Maybe? <laughs> um... What's up, prototype Ron? <laughs> oh, books. That was one of my, one of my fetishes in Skyrim. It was books. I mean, I also love books, but I don't know if I'd call it my fetish. <laughs> I would maybe call it more so my interest. <laughs> my fetish. Both I pronounce your way sounds like an Amish person. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, there's Esmer. In the dream, I was standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn, and the whole world was in darkness. Then Whoa. came the flash it's of light like dream. just on the horizon, and in the clouds that marked the border between worlds. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew. But I also love people telling my dream or telling people my dreams. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange. The color Rocks of the heart. Valley, this guy's just going on and on right now, though. This is the kind of place where hermits and fanatics dwell. Stop interrupting, interrupting him, Delphine. He's trying to tell us his dream. It's just old. It's just old. He just wants to talk to someone. I want to leave my. To seek <laughs> From what I, I <laughs> yeah, we got a yapper. <laughs> the dreams I cannot escape. I'm forced to wait. <laughs> got a yapper. Then, finally, <laughs> realization and horror arrive together. The orange is flame, heat. The sound, the roar, the challenge in their ancient tongue. But now it's too late for escape. The dragons and land fire. Face. Like I'm surprised something. my father didn't want to live out here. And not just any dragon, but the dragon. Everyone's talking. Oh, Everyone really wants to tell me things eats, today. The dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just Damn, a dream. Damn, he thinks he's, but you know, no, he's having premonition type not. dreams. Hey, did you say something? <laughs> nope, I didn't say anything because you didn't give me a chance, Ezra, or yapping. <laughs> Just tells me his dream and walks away, doesn't let me say a fucking word. <laughs> yeah, this fucking guy. <laughs> What's up, rogue demon hunter? Um, also, hi, you're in my recommended. I love Skyrim, so now I'm here. Welcome! Sorry, I missed a few messages. Hi, weed. Um... At some point, I'm going to play through Elder Scrolls 2, Daggerfall. I've played through the latter three games. I really want to play the older ones, too. But I think I'm going to... I don't know, like, the first ones. A lot of people keep saying the first two games are hard to play or something. So for sure, we're going to play Oblivion and um, Morrowind on stream. I'd like to play the older ones, too, because I want, like, the whole lore. And, you know, I don't want to watch a lore video for it. That's not... That doesn't appeal to me. I want to, like, actually play it and experience it. So I'll probably play those, too. And hey, Tomo, thank you for the 72 months. Love you, too, Tomo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Daggerfall Unity is free on good old games and it's easy. Did you need something? Is that the original version? What's the Unity part? That sounds like a mod or something. Yes, what is it? Hmm. I was really hoping I'd have an option to tell Esbern I have an Elder Scroll and that he'd be like, Whoa! But there's no option for it. Also, Serana really wants my attention. She's not letting me talk to Esbern. She's just in the way. Haven't you been paying attention to anything I've said? 
Only you can finally <laughs> defeat Aldrin. She's and giving me a look. She's pissed that I'm not giving her attention right now. If we can just find out what this lag and ren shout is, you may have a chance. Or not. There's no guarantee with prophecy. Merely hope. Goodbye. Oh. Yeah. Hello, Santa. All right. I mean, I guess I traveled all the way here for nothing. I mean, I, we got to hear Esbert's dream. That was kind of cool. <laughs> but, um, I was hoping that he'd be really excited that I got an Elder Scroll. I do really love this place, though, this temple. It's very, like, I don't know. It's very cozy here. Beautiful trees, beautiful view. It's not cold. Just a nice, chill place. The Unity port is with mods, better lighting, textures, and stuff. Oh, I see. I feel like I'd probably want to play the original, but I don't know. That's so far in the future, I can't... I guess I don't really have to think about that yet. We still got all of Obliv... Well, we still got all of Skyrim to go through. And then Oblivion and Morrowind. You're a vampire. I guess that's why your stamina bar is drained. No, my stamina was drained because I was hungry. I forgot to get a little snack. Let's see what Delphine has to say. I don't really like her, but maybe she's got something to talk Do you about. Need something? Eh. I've already talked to her about all of those. She doesn't like the gray beards, which I think is messed up because I really like the gray beards. They're just chill ass old dudes. I don't I don't know how anyone could dislike them. I think she's fucked up for that. I want Ald or Esmeralda to be like, great, you gotta scroll Aldwin dead yet. <laughs> I feel like Esbern would be too tempted. He would try and read it and then he'd go blind. I guess let's get out of this place. Hi, Rick. I sound like the actress that played Velma in the live action Scooby Doo. <laughs> really? That's kind of hype. I really like that, um, that actress. I don't remember her name. I think it's like Linda. Something Linda. I remember the live action Scooby Doo movie came out when I was a a little kid and i i had it on dvd so i would rewatch it constantly i was obsessed with it oh whoa ah. i was obsessed with that movie and i would rewatch it over and over and over and over and i wanted to be daphne so bad i was obsessed with daphne i thought she was the coolest character ever because in the live action scooby-doo movie there's like a scene where daphne beats up like a wrestler <laughs> and it's it's a really cool little fight scene and i remember i would i would just rewind that scene over and over and i'd be like that's gonna be me when i grow up but i did not grow up to be daphne unfortunately for me my dreams didn't come true all right where's gunner we're gonna get on Get on Gunner, we're gonna run. We gotta get out of here, dragons. <laughs> you ain't fighting no wrestler. Nope. I am not. I've accepted that that's just not me. I'm not a Daphne. I want it to be, but it's just not me. This whole like bottom left area of the map, I have not really been to at all. But I don't I haven't had a reason to go here yet. And I don't know if the map extends here or if it like Kind of looks like it cuts off here, maybe. I haven't really had a reason to go there yet, but I want to explore at some point, but I've got business in... I've got business in a lot of places. I gotta go to Dragon Bridge to find a Moth Priest for the Vampire Quest, and I also have to go to High Hrothgar.
I do you really want to go to Dragon Bridge? <sighs> Got a lot of things to do today. I'm trying to think which way to go. You find the daylight? Um no, I think I think I got hurt by it. Like, well, it doesn't hurt me, but it makes it so my stamina doesn't really regen. Okay, north is that way. I don't know. Start with those ruins at the top. Work your way down for that little bottom left area. Okay, it's a dead end. I'll explore that at some point. I think right now I should I should go to Dragon Bridge. See what's up with the vampire quest. Just for a little recap about the vampire quest. Um, the vampires told me they want to go to war with the sun. Like the sun in the sky, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, and they said we need we need a moth priest to read an elder scroll for us to <laughs> to help us with our war on the sun. So there's a apparently there's a moth priest in Dragon Bridge. So that's where we're gonna go and check out. I wonder if it's too late for you to rejoin the Dawn Guard. Dawn Guard. Yeah, I don't know if they'll have me now that I'm a vampire. I think they're pretty anti-vampire. I think that's kind of their whole thing. <laughs> Am I a vampire? Yeah. I turned into a vampire. I really regret it because it broke one of my mods. I had a I had a mod that made it so when I died I'd lose all my items. And I really liked it. It's a little masochistic, but I really like playing that way. Um So yeah, I, I'm hoping that maybe if I finish the vampire story quest, like maybe my mod will work again. So I'm very incentivized to go finish that quest, so. I think before we go to High Hrothgar right now, we're gonna check out Dragon Bridge and see what the moth priests got to say. <laughs> one tr yeah, who would win? One trillion vampires or the sun? <laughs> what other mods am I using? Um. I have very minimal mods. I have Sky UI. Which I got. Ow! I'm running away. Um, I have Sky UI. I have a mod that changes the font of my books. What else is there? Um, I have the Skyrim patch. Like, it's like the unofficial patch or something like that. I think that's it. If you type exclamation point mods, I, I have them all listed. I heard of Novus Ascension. I have heard of Novus. I have. My partner Jimmy was playing it. He's the reason I started playing Skyrim, because I would go into his room and he was playing Skyrim, and I'd be like, damn, that game kind of looks kind of cool. But he, he was playing Novus. He told me it was like 2,000 mods in that mod pack. Just a little bit too many. I don't know if my computer would handle that. I don't think I even have room on my computer for that many mods, to be quite honest. Are you not allowed to use fast travel? No, I'm playing on survival mode, so you can't use fast travel. You can use carriages, though, like the little cart carriages between the major cities. I could use those, and I do, but no, like, instant travel. I like not having fast travel, though. I like just running through the roads. I feel like a real adventurer. UK mod sounds like a very large headache to get them to load. Yeah. Jimmy has like a really good computer and his would take like five minutes to load each time. Like if his game crashed, it would take five minutes for it to reload and everything, which is a long, I think a pretty long time. Um, and then my friend who has like a slightly, yeah, good computer, but slightly worse, it would take him about 10 minutes for it to load. And so that means every time it crashed, you have to wait 10 minutes. So, that's kind of rough. Okay, I'm trying to get to Dragon Bridge. This, these paths are kind of hard to follow. Oh man, I do have an arrow. 
Oh man, we got an arrow in my tail. Or in my in, in Gunner's tail. My horse's tail. Kind of looks like an accessory, honestly. Looks like we put that there on purpose. <laughs> Shit, just swinging around. Hi, Riley. Where are you going today? Um, right now I'm going to Dragon Bridge to talk to a moth priest about reading a vampire elder scroll that I have for my vampire quest. And then after that, um, we're probably going to go to High Hrothgar today to read my elder scroll at the time wound or something like that. That's what the quest says. The I Pathernax like mentioned the time wound before, but I feel like I I don't know too much about it. Need to talk to Pathernax again. Woo! Oh man. I thought that was gonna hurt. Sounds like modern Minecraft with the crashing and taking a long time to load. That's rough. I don't know if I have the patience for stuff like that. Where are my PC specs? Um, I think if you type exclamation point specs, I, I think I have a command for it. They're not, my PC's not bad, but it's not like amazing. I would say it's pretty average. Oh man, what happened here? The heck? Vampire. Vampire's note. Um, the, the title's in the way. <laughs> I have new orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of Dragon Bridge. Take the Moth Priest to Forebear's holdout for safekeeping until I can break his will. Malchus. What the fuck? They took the Moth Priest? No, not the dead horse. They have any cargo? Cargo. <gasps> A book. Effects of the Elder Scrolls? Oh, I think we read this one already. Yeah, we read this one. Just about how... If you don't know anything about the Elder Scroll and you read it, it won't have any effect. And if you only know a little bit, try and read it, that shit will make you blind. How the Moth Priests have meditated for a long, long time. To be able to read them. Wait. Capture the Moth? I'm gonna... Okay, I guess I'm gonna capture the Moth, moth Priest. First time Skyrim. Oh, you're so lucky. I feel very lucky. I'm really glad I get to experience this game now. Yeah, you're evil. Like, actually evil. Dude, I'm just following my quest orders from my vampire overlord. Uh, he wants me to capture a moth priest. So we could go to war with the sun or something. I guess I have to do it. Oh, man. What the fuck's going on here? You reckon anyone ever read it not knowing it was an Elder Scroll and someone told it, so they read it again? What a shock would that be? <laughs> that be... That'd be very unfortunate. Okay, um... Yes. Is it this cave? Oh, I think it's this cave right here. Have I been to Soul's time yet? Um, I actually did go there. Like, the place from Windhelm. Like, here. I think. Oh, yeah. Traveled Soul's time. I went there once and I died very quickly. Um. And then I didn't go back. <laughs> I want to go back there at some point, but I think I was a little unprepared. 
What makes Elder Scrolls so special? Um, I don't know enough about them. I think it make you travel through time. I don't know enough about them. Unfortunately, I have to ask people in the chat to refrain from answering that question too, because I don't want any spoilers for myself with the lore. I'm uncovering the lore like as I play is, I think, my favorite part of this game. So I, I really, really don't want any lore, lore spoilers. Whoa, look at this cave. Got some, got something going on over there. What is this? Are these wolves? Dogs? Hacker of dogs? I don't like that. I should be friends with them. You should start with Oblivion mini minimum. Oh, I'm definitely gonna play Oblivion after. I guess I'll just experience the lore and story backwards, but I'm okay with that. Can't kill dogs? I had to! I was self-defense! It's fucking kill or be killed out here. It's rough. It's a rough life. No one ever said being an adventurer or a hero is gonna be chill. Chill and easy and not fucked up. Those vampires put up a hell of a fight. You think they turned him? I don't know. Maybe. We'll know until we get him out of here. Oh, I wish I had subtitles. I'm working on it. Now give me some silence so I can think. turn subtitles on i have subtitles it just wasn't working on like they just weren't working in that moment wait dawn guard interesting whoa that hurt a lot i mean dynamic ones i have them they just weren't working in that moment Holy shit, he had a lot of money. An armored troll? I've never seen one of those in my life. I didn't know those existed. I didn't know you could put armor on a troll. Oh, I missed him. the troll go? Where'd the armored troll go? That's the only thing I'm interested in right now. That guy just came out the ceiling. Whoa! Oh god. Who's? Better armor. I think I'm wearing bad armor. Yeah, I'm wearing fur armor because I want it to be warm. I don't even have any boots on. They're just fishing boots. What level am I? Uh, 32. Sorry, Serana. Ooh, heavy armor. I don't know if I want to wear that. Seems a little bit better. Oh, and I got real boots.
Oh, there's the armored troll. That thing is crazy looking. I'm scared of him. Where'd he go? items I haven't been dying lately I haven't died in a really long time I've been playing really careful but also my death mod broke so even if I die I won't lose my stuff I haven't died like since I realized it broke though so, I mean I guess that's good but I am I'm really sad that it's not working what's up alien embryo I like that name I have ice cream watching your stream. What kind of ice cream you got? Will I manually drop my items if I die? Well, I don't know because it doesn't, like it, it won't teleport me to a bed anymore. So I'm, whoa. I'm not really sure what to do. Hi, Elfenorn. Seemed like the death mod problem, or death mod caused problems with ruining quests. It was only one. It was only one that got broken. This thing is crazy looking. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, that must be the moth priest. I think he can see me. Right, he's probably. Oh, Malchus. Waystone focus. I'll save you after I loot this chest real quick. drop any of my stuff to grab that stuff. What quest lines have I done? Um. Oh, well, there's a staircase here. Uh, I did the winter hold quest, like, with the... With becoming the archmage with the Saiyak orb, or whatever it was. No, it was like a Dwemer orb, but the Saiyak order wanted it gone <laughs> um what else have i done that was like the most memorable quest line why wow, it's dark here i can't see anything that was, a, that was the most memorable one um i i've started a lot of quests but i haven't finished a lot i think the winter hold one was like one of the few i, I finished but I have a lot of other things I've started. I started the Dawn Guard quest line and then I turned into a vampire. Now, I mean, I guess right now I'm doing that. Uh, can we do some quest lines in Windhelm? Yeah, I don't think I've got, I've done a single quest in Windhelm. I haven't really spent a lot of time there. Yeah, well, I definitely wanna check out Windhelm a little bit. Whoa. Wait, I have to kill the moth priest? I don't want to kill him. I want to talk to him. Whoa, he's strong. <gasps> I thought I had my healing spell out. I'm just casting lights everywhere. <laughs> I like that I have the option to press E to talk, but I can't. It doesn't do anything. Let me talk to you. Oh. I am not afraid of you. But use your vampire seduction power? If you think I'll help you, you are mistaken. Okay, okay. I've got that thing. Uh, 
I want to talk to him. I don't want to feed on him. I am not afraid of you. Fuck. I guess I have to feed on him. Okay, command him to go to Valkyhar. Valkyhar. It's as if my eyes have been opened. Yeah, so I am blinded by the light of your majesty. I... I must obey you. I kind of like the way he's talking what to me. What would you have of me, master? <laughs> Certainly. Where can I... He's risen me up right now. I will set out at once, then. Alright, Serana, no need to be jealous. It was, you know, it's just for... I had to do that. Hmm. Oh god, Serana, I love her, like, in a weird way. <laughs> I might feel the same way. I also love her. I didn't think it was in a weird way, but maybe it's weird. <laughs> we all love her. I mean, can't blame anyone. She's so cool. Serana made me cry once. That was a weird day. You know, she's got a lot of power over all of us. I literally broke my game. I broke my mods and everything to become a vampire so I could be with her. I, To be fair, I didn't know it was going to break all my stuff, but yeah, that's just what you do for love. around I was super depressed for about a year super super dark place I was sitting there in game she goes I'm really glad you're here with me I broke I love Skyrim oh man I'm sorry that you were like depressed but that's really wholesome that that you know was like a memorable moment for you I've definitely had similar feelings before from games I <laughs> at the start of the pandemic in 2020 uh you know, every every single person was super isolated and stuff. Um, I started playing this game called Rune Factory 4, which it's like a it's like a Harvest Moon type game, but it also has like combat and everything. And you could date the the townsfolk in that game. And one of the the townsfolk, uh, her name was I think it was Clorica or Clerica, something like that. And I don't know, I, I, you know, I was pursuing her, bringing her gifts every day and everything in game, and it was like really comforting for me to have all the characters in that game, but especially her. I don't know why she was the one that meant a lot to me, but she just brought me a lot of comfort during that time, and I really liked her. What the fuck, you're a Rune Factory fan? I've only played Rune Factory 4, but... Uh, but yeah, I'm a fan of that game. I really liked it. I don't normally play games like that, but that one's very good. I have a computer that's my old gaming PC that I turned into an AI that I can talk to. His name is Serana. You can, I've heard that you can get a mod in Skyrim that's called AI Companion. Um... I don't know how it works or anything like that, but I heard that it turns like your companion into like an AI that you could talk to with your voice. I don't know. You know, I don't know how well it works or anything like that, but I've heard of its existence and it sounds cool and I really want to try it one day. Maybe it'll teach me to be better at talking to people. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa! It's not a sturdy cliff. I tried it, it's amazing. Um, oh, it's fucking crazy. You can do it in VR and have all NPCs have dynamic AI responses and relationships. 
Are they like actually convincing or? <clears throat> How does it work? Because what if it's too convincing and it scares me? <laughs> what if I get scared? What if I fall in love with it? What if I never leave VR? <laughs> what do I normally play? Um, I play a lot of MMOs and FPS games. I don't stream FPS games, but I do play a lot of them. Um, I mostly streamed MMOs before I started playing Skyrim. Like, well, not exclusively though. I really like challenge runs in games, so I was addicted to like Hardcore World of Warcraft, I mean, which is an MMO also. Um, I like the Kaizo Ironmon challenge on Pokemon. Streamed a lot, lot, lot of RuneScape. Oh, stuff like that. But right now I'm in my single player game era. I mean, trying Skyrim, I didn't know I'd like it so much, but I really love this game. And now I have plans to stream Oblivion after, and then Morrowind, and then whatever else I want to. Maybe the older ones too, we'll see. But I feel like, oh, I'm in a, I'm in a single player era of my stream now. Hey, it's those cultist guys. Oh, and they're mad at me. <laughs> they're mad at me for existing. All right. I would like to summon something too. Zombie out. Oh. Yeah, really quick, I just get charged my weapon. Oh, I dropped it. Oh. Nobody saw that. That was really embarrassing. There we go. I charged it. Ah! You already killed my zombie! Uh oh, my Z's not working. I was trying to do my shout. I think I, I put, I... Oh yeah, I put a different thing on by accident. Oh my god, I'm dying. Woo. Oh, this guy's dead? Good. I love their mask, though. Their mask is cool. Oh, I'm too heavy. I want to put on their, their mask. Oh, but I have an enchanted helmet. I probably shouldn't change it. Oh, man. Whoa! Dude's dodging and weaving. I'm trying, I'm trying to get up there. <laughs> dodging and weaving. That's why you get for trying to kill me. I would have joined their cult if they just asked me. I think their outfit is really cool. Well, I beat the whole game for Skyrim? Um... I mean, I don't know what counts as beating the whole game, since there's like so many stories. I don't know. See, see where the game takes me, I guess. Joining a death cult because of the drip. I think that's a great reason to <laughs> to join. I think that's a, as good a reason as any. Pine Pond. 
Oh, I see one of those tree ladies right there. I'm pointing with my helmet. I don't like those. Yeah, I'm trying to get back to the vampires. They make it re really hard to get back to their building, to their castle. It's so, so, so out of the way of anything. Well, you know, I'll make it. Have I tried any Bennett Foddy type games like Getting Over It or Jump King? No, I haven't tried any of those. I think I, I tried getting over it like once a long time ago, but I think I only played it one time for maybe one or two hours. I don't think I was super into it. But I, that was a long time ago and I actually didn't like challenges back then. The enjoying challenges thing is pretty new for me from a couple years ago. It was actually Joe Fudge that uh, showed me Pokemon Kaizo Ironmon, and I got really addicted to that. I really liked that challenge. I think that's what turned it around for me. I mean, realize I actually like things like that. The fact that you still have the 30 Crimson Nern Roots gives me anxiety. I mean, they really weren't difficult to get. I feel like. Oh, there's like two songs going on at once right now in game. <laughs> That's very weird. I don't know what's up with the music. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, all the music in the game all at once. <laughs> yeah, the, the Crimson Nerd Roots weren't hard to get. I feel like I could get them again easily. Just take a stroll through uh, Black Reach. Do some wandering. Guild, Major Skill, Dark Brotherhood, Oblivion Walker, um, Main Quest, Civil War, uh, all that would be completing Skyrim. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, this is my first playthrough, like, I don't know anything about all the storylines. I have no idea how long those take. So, I'm not, I, I really don't know how to know when when we're done, but we'll, we'll play it by ear, I think. I feel like I'll know when the time feels right to start Oblivion. I am really excited to play Oblivion. People in the chat keep saying they think it's gonna be my favorite, my favorite game. Oh, everyone's what sitting around welcome? waiting for me. Where's the moth priest, well though? Did he... Done. Oh, he's right there! Somehow I knew it would be you who found our moth priest. I'm a hero! I did what he told me to do. Yes, I see that. I trust his capture was not too difficult to task. Um... Yeah, the Dawn Guard tried to stop me, but they posed no threat. I wish I could have been it's not humble the whatsoever. <laughs> well, your That's thrall fucked up awaits, to say of him. We have given him the Elder Scroll. Command him to read it, and let us hear the words of prophecy together. <gasps> we get to read our first Elder Scroll? Oh, well, I guess get to hear Master, him read it. I have done as you asked and traveled here. Of course. Read me a what little story, are, please. Yes, the Elder Scroll. <clears throat> I admit, I am looking forward to this. Me too. Of course, Master. Now, if everyone will please. Oh, let me fight, take a look. I must concentrate. I see a vision before me an image of a great bow. 
I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice that doesn't really whispers, saying, "Can't read that." Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise in an age of strife. When dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. What if I'm scared the of the dark? Fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. Oh no! Another complete prophecy. Oh, you must have the other two scrolls. Wait, but I have I have a dragon one. I have the dragon scroll. Elder Scroll dragons. <laughs> Great, now he's blind. <laughs> The bow he's talking about, or I think he said Oriel's bow. I think I just read a book about that. Well, like that mentioned it. I gotta see if I have it. I think it's this one. No, not this one. Maybe I didn't read one about it. I thought I did. Well, either way, this this book talked about Daedra. Daedra being bound- Daedra Lords being bound to our weapons. Read in front of him to flex. <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm not blind. Well, I am, but only for a second. What is your command? Greetings, he care. Master. What do you need? Yeah, tell me about it yourself, is our sacred duty to study my little buddy. Scrolls. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future, and we use that knowledge to aid the Emperor. Sometimes, we venture out into the world in search of more scrolls for our library at the White Gold Tower. Oh, I want to go to that library. That sounds like my dream place. Brought me to Skyrim. It is the great spire at the heart of the Imperial City among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. The lower floors are home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Aldmeri Dominion, and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its former glory. Me too. Can I read about the Lorcan? Um... Sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine. Wait, I got that gift since it doesn't make me blind. Within the scrolls. Though in time, well, I can't really it read it though. To <laughs> I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. Very well, Master. I can't believe he's just nice to me now. I mean, I guess I can believe that it since I used vampire that powers to make him nice to me. I would have liked. Even so, you did well. My right, traitor wife stole tell us more. one of them away and then disappeared. As for the other, the last <laughs> My bitch that I wife. heard, it was lost in the bowels of a Dwemer. I have that one! It seems our work is not yet done. But I have waited this long and we are so very close now. I can wait a bit longer. All right, Lord Harkin, where's your wife? If you need anything, say the word. Whoa. I can These guys were just in perfect in unison. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered. I am with them. but your humble servant, my lady. Wait, you're coming with I me? I am but your humble servant, my lady. Oh no, he's not coming with me. 
Where'd Serana go? She oh, there she is. Do you have a moment to talk? Of course. That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Didn't want that lot getting wind of it. Especially my father. Oh, she doesn't trust him? What's going on? Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. Valerica's such a pretty lucky, name. She actually has it herself. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, Into the sun. she not tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Um... Uh. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And the sun! Time, too. <laughs> Just Any kidding. Ideas? <laughs> oh yeah, hiding with the Dawn Guard also makes sense. I doubt to my me. mother would waste her time with those fools. Oh. They probably would have tried to kill her, and that has a way of souring relationships. Any other ideas? Uh, sealed away? I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. It had to be one of us, and, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? Imagine just right in the castle? Sense. What? I used to help my mother tend a garden in the courtyard here. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place, too peaceful. There's no way nobody that lives in the castle just never oh, stepped absolutely. foot there. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. Trust me, I lived here a very long time and I know every nook and cranny. There's an unused We're gonna go on the, on the walls. side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. Hmm. Um. I don't know. I guess. Let's go. Come on. It's just around the side. So, Saint Malik, did I quit RuneScape? No, I didn't quit. I mean, I haven't been playing it a lot lately, but I Leave me in peace. wouldn't consider myself having quit or anything like that. Uh, forgot to tell you last time the magician show. There's a whole dimension of uber powerful librarians. Magicians is worth a try if anyone wants a show. What did you need? What streaming service is it on? I I haven't heard of that show other than you mentioning it. And they got so many books here. Might might grab one. Bring it with me. Grab that one. I'll take that one. I'm carrying too much. This one sounds cool. I don't want to read them right now, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna grab them with me to read later. I gotta drop something though. Man, let's get rid of one of my bows. I don't even use bows. I just drop both of them. I don't use bows. Get the Legend of the Red Eagle book. I actually, I've seen that book a lot of the times. Like, that's a, that was a weird sentence. <laughs> I've seen that book a lot, but I haven't, uh... I think I flipped through it, but I never read it because it didn't look very interesting. No one quits RuneScape, they just take breaks, always come back. Exactly. All right, it's be foolish to say you've quit RuneScape. All right, where's Serana? Where'd she go? I, leave politics to I thought she was supposed to the lead the way. What is it? Oh, new dialogue options. Were you and your mom Before close? my father became obsessed with a prophecy, 
My mother and I spent quite a bit of time together. She was very fond of her alchemical garden in the castle courtyard. She taught me quite a bit about cultivating quality regions. Like the best of friends, I would never hesitate to share anything with her. It was very sudden. It was almost like one day we were a normal family, and then the next, I didn't know who they were. I'd try to visit my mother in the garden, and she'd quickly shoo me away, saying she was much too busy. That sounds terrible. She had to be up to something in that garden. I'm hoping it's a clue that will tell us where she went. Can I tell you a utility thing about books? The courtyard again. Um... I'd rather not, like, be told anything, like, about the game just so I could figure it out on my own if I, if I get the chance to. I know that books give you XP sometimes. Hmm. I don't think this is the right way. I really can stand on books to make you look taller. Ooh. I am but your humble servant. <laughs> I should try that. Um. Oh, I probably don't have the quest marked. I don't. This lady I wish you kill for Vingama would just get it over with and kill each other. Oh, I'm tired of listening to them. Bleed Skyrim dry. That that lady sounds like a uh, moaning myrtle from the Harry Potter movie. I have everything I need right here. You can train your agility IRL by practicing walking with a book on your head. <laughs> That. Try that out. Ooh, what is this place? Hmm. I feel like I'm. I shouldn't really be unlocking doors, but I am. Oh! Why was this locked? I've already been in here. This is where I turn into a vampire. Apparently, people read books IRL too crazy. Damn, not me. I I only be reading books in the game. I have kept my end of the bargain. Now I expect you to keep yours. Oh, this is like his bedroom. Oh, a diamond. Yes. That shit's what shiny. I can't do that. My head's not but flat enough. <laughs> Uh, man. I don't know where, where Serana wants us to go. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. Maybe I do have to go back outside. Just wait. Door. Oh. Oh, I want to disenchant some of my stuff. Uh Oh, I like this conjuration helmet a lot. I feel like that's a good enchantment to learn. I'll learn this mace. I want to enchant this thing. Fortify. Conjuration. Nice. Good dischip the bows you dropped earlier, too. True. I don't think... I don't think I really cared for their enchantments, though. I don't really want to go and find them. Damn. I saw more than enough political maneuvering in my time in house arrest. 
<laughs> yep, she's hiding in her husband's bedroom. He would never look there. Hiding in plain sight. I, I respect that. Maybe we do have to go like around or something. Santa dead yet? No freaking way. He would never die. He's never gonna leave me. He's never gonna leave me alone in the mortal realm. This bed. Oh, we are going the right way. Hi, Jedi. Let me take a torch out. It's freaking cold out here. It doesn't look so big from down here. I mean, it is big, but, well, even bigger. And this is a cool little area. A little boat dock with a sunken boat. Uh. The fuck? Who? Uh. who are we fighting right now? Oh, skeleton. Yeah. Strana just yapping away. She's allowed to yap as much as she wants. That's what, uh... That's one of the perks of her being so beautiful. <laughs> I'll listen to anything she wants to say. Oh, shit! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Things are really hurting me! He's got a lot of health right now. Oh, that strong ass dude. I'm not gonna die like this. Me neither. Me also. I will also won't die. What have you got? Leave her alone. Yeah. Gotta get inside, it's fucking cold. Of course skeletons have a ton of health. If you came back from the dead, you'd be energetic too. I don't know, what if, uh, like what if they're chilling in the afterlife and it was terrible coming back? What if it hurts to come back? It's a nice little place. I would hang out here. Oh, I don't want to. Probably we shouldn't be killing her mom's pet rat. Mm, I was hoping I'd have like a soup or something <laughs> to warm me up. Man, this place is huge. On some days, this would smell just. Who's there? I knew I heard something. Does drinking milk increase my skeleton's level? It should. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my health is so low because it's cold. I'm like, not warming up at all. I need to figure out how to make a bonfire of some sort. Wait, why are we attacking a vampire? I thought for a second this was like a summon. They're feral. <gasps> Journal. It's 
stranger affected by cold as a vampire? Yeah, I think it's a like an oversight. I, I don't think it's supposed to be that way, but I feel like maybe they didn't go in and tweak the survival mode with the vampire stuff in mind. Uh, I got a journal just now. I want to read it. Where'd it go? Journal fragment. Not good enough to live in their stupid keep, am I? Stupid sons don't realize I've moved into the Undercroft and started taking control of their own death hounds. I'll get my revenge. Damn, I guess that didn't work out. I'm slowly warming up. Oh, I just saw a trap. Oh! I saw that little trap string at the last second. Maybe you should ask Ron if she knows a good way for you two to warm up. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. I like that idea. Much like most of the Creation Club add-on or additions, the Bethesda survival mode is a low effort add-on. That makes me sad. Yes. What did you need? I wonder why they didn't want to put more effort into it. I mean, I think like it it has worked great up until I became a vampire. Maybe you know, maybe they just didn't expect anyone to become a vampire while playing survival mode. I don't know. I feel like that's like really silly though to not think of if you if it's in the game. So really quick, I'll be right back. I have to pee really bad. One second, I'll be fast. Survival mode in Fallout 4 was really good. Is Fallout 4 the like most recent Fallout game? I don't know anything about Fallout except that New Vegas takes place in Vegas. <laughs> That's all I know about Fallout. Fallout 76 is the most recent one. Mm. That's the that's an MMO. Hmm. I know there was one Fallout game that I remember people being really mad about. Which one was that? I've read this book. I read the Ethereum Wars. I don't think I read this one. Oh, it's a play. I don't want to read a play. Oh, Fallout 76 is the one everyone was mad at? I see. It's garbage. Don't play it. I actually- I really trust you on that, Orange. I- I trust your judgment. Oh, I see. I see where to go now. Fallout is pretty far in the future for me. Like, for when I'm gonna play it, since I wanna play all the Elder Scrolls stuff first. But... Do you guys think that Fallout New Vegas is a good one to start with? Cause I live in Vegas, so that's why I really want to play that one. Take a left up here. 
This is one of those weird double barred security measures that my father put in when he got more paranoid. If we follow that Ouch. path around, we can find the other switch. Vegas is a masterpiece, but it's buggy as hell. I don't mind that. I have no problem with games being buggy. I don't like these little spiky things in the hanging off the ceiling. I hear like a spider. Or no, I guess maybe it's a dog. Get him. for me that's okay I guess New Vegas is the best one. Oh, wouldn't it be bad for me to start with the best one again that's so far in the future it doesn't really matter to think about right now but you know just just thought I'd ask. A word of warning with Fallout New Vegas, all the radio is copyrighted if you make a YouTube video off of it. Oh. Oh, wow. That's really good to know. I'm glad you told me that. I'm assuming there's probably a mod that just changes it. Who's there? I knew I heard something. Oh, a chest. So, J Boy. Oh, you can just turn the radio off. I see. That sucks that the music would be copyrighted. I, I'd really like to experience the music in it. But, you know. I'm not worth getting a strike. What the fuck just zapped me? Ow! Oh my god, the spider's strong! <gasps> there's, <laughs> there's a very narrow hallway right now. Oh, sorry, skeleton. <laughs> That's a big fucking spider. Very gross, gross spider. No offense to to him. This area is so dark. Who's there? sad actually my biggest memory of fall games are the music are are there any songs like that i would recognize that are on there like copyrighted songs just that you could remember or like maybe artists that are featured on it not sure if that's where i'm supposed to go ah bridge Hmm. Oh wait, we were just down here. Okay. Let's circle back. Wow. It is very dark here. Ain't that kick in the head, Dean Martin? Hmm, I don't know if I know that one. <laughs> It's like 50s music. Oh, I probably don't know any of the songs then. Uh, I think. I think this is the way we just came from. Oh, yeah. 
You've heard, ain't that a kick in the head? Maybe. Definitely don't recognize the name. It's been like a thousand movies. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'd, I guess I'd have to hear it to see. You've made it to the courtyard. Oh no. Oh, this is like a it's a graveyard. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks well dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. And nobody's coming to this courtyard. What the heck? What is this such a beautiful it's space? Why would they not want to use this? Looks like my father had it sealed up. Oh. He used to walk through here after evening meals. I guess that's why meals. her father sealed it up cuz he's kind of crazy. Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. That's something. Full moon crest. Whoa, this thing's pretty. It's like a forbidden macaroon cookie thing. Oh, I dropped it. Yes? What did you need? What now? Oh! I don't have the proper crest. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. What? How could her mom know we'd be coming here? That's a, that's like a bit of a stretch, I think, but I mean, what do I know? To get a torch out, so cold. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Woo! Oh, there's something strange with the moon dial. What's so special well, about it? as far it? as I'm aware, it's the only one in existence. The previous owners of the castle had a sundial in the courtyard, and obviously that didn't appeal to my mother. She persuaded an elven artisan to make some improvements. You can see the plates that show the phases of the moons, Masser and Secunda. That's the thing. What's the point of a moon dial? I always wondered why she didn't just have the whole thing ripped out. But she loved it. I don't know. I guess it's like having a piece of art, if you're into that sort of thing. Hard to say. Maybe if we found the missing crests, we could figure it out. Scavenger hunt! Look around for the missing crests. Even in this mess, hmm. stick out. This world has dragons and magic, but that's a stretch. <laughs> hey, you know, maybe her, her mom is very... Uh... Oh, just found one. Um... I'm good at predicting the future, I guess. Because Serana's locked away for a really long time, so... You know, to think... That her mom would, like... Leave a message for all these years. I mean, I guess she could've just, like, left the message there. Just waiting and waiting and waiting. If we had the crests, we wouldn't have to keep hanging around this lovely place. Oh, I guess maybe those... Oh, wow! I thought we'd have to look for more, but I guess those are supposed to be empty. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. She was only grounded for like two days. She's being dramatic. <laughs> There's a little secret back there. Who the ruins? I've never been in there, but I know right where they go. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she studied. Maybe she studied like the blueprints of this building. I mean, I guess if vampires live forever, she probably had a lot of time to kill. I'm just hanging out. There's no there's no smartphones or computers, so. 
What are you gonna do? You're gonna read the blueprints of the place you live, I guess. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. Alright. Wait. Garlic? Isn't garlic We're getting close. Bad for vampires? Shouldn't I be like screaming right now? <laughs> Pretty nice and cleanly here. Whoa! There. Uh. Strong is strong as fuck. I can never be a vampire because I like garlic too much. <laughs> Garlic's pretty good. I'm pretty picky of food, but I, I like garlic. I like garlic bread. Come on, give me a non ruined book. I want to read. Right. Um, I don't know which direction to go first. I guess maybe let's go right close. first. Sure of it. Let's see what's over here. I can't believe how many ruined books are in this game. Like, books are. Oh, what the heck? Why is he alive? Books shouldn't be ruined that easily, you know? I feel like books are pretty sturdy, unless there's a fire. It doesn't look like there's a fire. Maybe it's the mold. Paper in damp places, no good. True. But do you think you would ruin it so bad it could, you can ever read it again? If it's just damp, not like... The books aren't touched by the water. Hey, that's good. I don't know. Oh, dude, it's so dark here. I can't see where I'm going. It's either ruined books or reading the same books over and over. <laughs> I mean, I get that, but just saying, like, <laughs> lore-wise, or not even lore, just, I don't know, I'm poking holes and things. I got to charge my weapon, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, I forgot I have this cool two-handed sword that I forgot about. I don't really like using two-handed weapons, but it's a cool sword. It has a special name. I don't like two-handed weapons because then I can't heal myself. Once I swap. Oblivion just has the same book 200 times, I think. That's fine. Do you have books or inventory that you haven't read yet? Yeah, I have a few. I have a few that I haven't like read all the way. Because they're like really long or something. Oh, this little closet. Oh, money. A lockpick. Who's there? Another lockpick. I knew I heard something. Oh shit! 
This guy must have ran a long way. this two-handed sword. It's a cool one. Can't you flourish if you have two one-handed weapons? No, I haven't really tried much dual wielding, if at all. swapping back and forth between my healing and my dual dual wield no shields i used shields a little bit at the beginning but i didn't i didn't really like them i think just like being able to heal myself is so useful that having anything else in my second hand just wasn't worth it i see a red dot on the thing I guess it's on the other side of the wall or something. I used to always go sneak archer one hand. It was very OP. So I tried a two hand heavy armor and it was fun. Just run in and swing at everything. No strategy. That's kind of how I play already. No strategy. Who's there? I was doing my thing. You knew I heard something. You did? I don't even see anyone. I'm gonna get a candle candlelight out. It's too dark. Strategy, hide behind Serana. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much is my strategy. She is very strong. She's very good at everything. She's gonna fight up there. I'm gonna... Oh, a lockpick. I'm gonna open this door. Maybe find a little treasure. Come on. It's so close to opening. Come on! Worth all my lockpicks. <gasps> Books. Hmm. Adrian Daedra. I've read that one for sure. read about Markarth. I'm not like super interested in Markarth right now, but maybe that's just because I'm more interested in other things right now. Dude, I don't know where Serana went. Best thing about RuneScape, besides its easy system requirements, is ability to watch Twitch while stealing or doing chill combat activity. That's true. It's pretty much the best game to play on like a second. Oh, that's cool. Second monitor. Please, or you should read your Dark Brotherhood book. I'm going to. 
Oh my god, Serrano's all the way up there? Holy shit, she just like ran through the whole... whole place. I can't even catch up to her because I... <laughs> I want to look at everything to make sure... Oh, I'm grabbing all the books. Serrano, you're too fast. I can't keep up with you. Oh, this is a strong skeleton. I'm like barely doing any damage. That helmet's putting in work. Tree doesn't come to life and jump scare me. Um, oh, okay, that's where we just were. I saw. Oh. Where'd you come from? Oh my god. Who's? Oh knock him down. We've, do we go up here? I see this chain. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we did not go up here. Dude, why is this place so dark? I know it's like a like a ruin kind of place, but man. I can't see. It's, uh, it's rough to navigate in the dark. Also, what if I'm scared of the dark? Whoa! Who's there? Something. Who's? Gargoyle. Do I have night vision ability? No. Oh wait, maybe as a vampire. I do remember someone mentioned better vision in the dark, but I'm not in vampire form right now. Maybe I should be. See who was in here. A little potion room. Oh my god, a weapon room. Oh what? That's cool. Man. If only I could carry a bit more. I can't I can't really carry all that. You're a vampire all the time, not just in vampire lord form. I know, but they said that there's in the vampire form. I could see better. I remember the vampire guy. Oh wow, telling me that. Yeah, I think so. There's 
There's so many skeletons in this place. Some more skeletons I have ever had to fight. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. I'm trying to think Saron is a real protagonist. <laughs> yeah, she's really taking control. This is Dawnguard if you want to be evil. Okay, I would not say that I'm evil. How was I supposed to know the vampires were gonna be bad guys? I thought, uh... I just didn't want to be a werewolf anymore. Night. We're all the good guys in our own stories. True. Oh, is this the way we just came from? I think I just went in a circle. Wait, no? I think someone left some limbs out here. I don't know where I am right now. I kind of... I kind of just started walking in a direction, and now I'm here. Whoa. Hi, Gibson. How far are you into Skyrim? Um, I think like 65 hours into the game. I think that's about my playtime. Oh! I really should have expected that, but the other gargoyles didn't. Oh man. She's controlling a vampire, or not a vampire, a gargoyle. She's so fucking cool. Well, let's just kill all of them, just to be safe. I don't think we've reached the top yet. I bet there's some kind of secret. Hey, we could sleep. <laughs> I actually need to sleep because my 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 magic's lower because I'm sleepy. It's a little bit eepy. I forgot I leveled up. I'm gonna get more stamina. Uh, I don't really know what to put a point on to. I don't know why this one's green. Maybe because I never put a point on it. Getting close. I'm sure of it. If the sun's gone, we could all be night owls and play games. True, it'd be kind of chill. I like the sun, but it, it'd probably be a little bit chill. Is this room a dead end? We're getting close. I'm sure of yeah. it. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. I mean, I like this sun, but I don't need it to be happy. Damn. I think I unfortunately do need the sun to be happy. 
I'm pretty reliant. Wow, royal armor. I'm pretty reliant on it. Ooh, oh, and now we're matching. Look at us both looking good. Sure. Take these shoes too. exploring the other side of the castle but it's like we're already so far this way burned book Oops. lower levels of vitamin D do affect happiness I've been taking vitamin D supplements every day. Mostly for inflammation reasons. Man, it's a cool room. I don't like it here. Look at this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep in the necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I Whoa. Could. Oh yeah, I read this book. About the Dureni. About the Dureni and... How they one of them I have no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. I almost invented she alchemy. Spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? What thing? Oh. It's a cool little decoration. I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. Let's take oh. a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. What are we My looking was for? Meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Did your mother keep gargoyles? Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not, not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. Saranus has summoned something she every she other she sentence. Does she? See if you can dig it up. <laughs> I haven't noticed. Oh, a full library. I love this. Sun's disc, volume 11. It's a lot of, a lot of volumes. Wisp mother. Oh, journal. Okay, that's what we're looking for, but I just wanna see what other books she got. Hey, <laughs> the lusty Argonian maid. Watcher of stones. Hmm. Ruins of Camel Z. Unfortunately, those, those names don't mean anything to me. Ice Wraiths, Dowry, read that one. Opusculus, never seen this book before. A brief account of Lam Lame Bal and the Restless Dead. Sounds like a band. Oh, let's read this one, it's short. As brighter grows light, darker becomes shadow. So it passed that the Daedra Moloch Bal looked on Arche and thought the Aedra prideful of his dominion o'er the death of man and myrrh, and it was so soothe. Sooth? <laughs> um, Bal, who spheres the wanton oppression and entrapment of mortal souls, sought to thwart Arche, who knew that not man nor mare nor beast folk of all Nern could escape eventual death. The Aedra was doubtless of his sphere, and so Moloch Bal set upon Nern to best death. Tamriel was still young and filled with danger and wondrous magic when Baal walked in the aspect of man and took a virgin, Lame Bolf Bolfig, 
from the netic peoples. Savage and loveless, Bal profaned her body and her screams became the shrieking winds, which still haunt certain winding fjords of Skyrim. Shedding a lone droplet of blood on her brow, Baal left Nern, having sown his wrath. Violated and comatose, Lemay was founded by no nomads and cared for. A fortnight hence, the nomad word woman... Word? <laughs> These are difficult words. <laughs> uh, enshrouded Lemay in a pall for she had passed into death. In their way, the nomads built a bonfire to immolate the husk. That night, Lemay rose from her funeral pyre and set upon the coven, still aflame. She ripped the throats of the women, ate the eyes of the children, and raped their men as cruelly as Baal had ravished her. And so, Lemay, who was known to us as Blood Matron, imprecated her foul aspect upon the folk of Tamriel and begat a brood of countless abominations from which came the vampires, most cunning of the night horrors. And so was the scourge of undeath wrought upon Tamriel, cruelly mocking Arcade's rhythm of life and death through all the coming eras of Et Ada. And for all his sadness, Arcade knew this could not be undone. That was a terrible book. <laughs> that is a very depressing story. Take it with me, though. A brutal book. All right, maybe this one will be more lighthearted. It's, uh, <laughs> it's her journal. Serana's mom's journal. All right. Harkin's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses so much to listen to a word I say. I've become less a wife and more an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul cairn properly by using a small sample of ingredients. Although the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident that the prop with the proper formula, it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient, something of sufficient potency that can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters has proved worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance whether I ensure them a steady supply of souls or not. If I'm to escape Harkin's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here, forever if need be. I've done it. After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the portal. I'm listing the components below without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I'm combining my own blood into the formula, which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and following me into the soul cairn. The formula consists of finely ground bone meal, purified void salt, and soul gem shards. Using the proper measurements, place the above in a silver-lined portal vessel and add blood as a reactive agent. I'll make my way into the soul cairn tomorrow after I gather my things and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. Hey, that's where I found her. All right. Well, I mean, we don't have her blood, but we got her daughter. If I talk to her, I want to look around her? a little bit. A lot of soul gems. Holy shit. Hi, course Tech. Whoa, what the fuck was that sound? Terrible sound. so many cool things. Alright, let's talk to Strana. Wait, there's another door. Oh, balcony. Any luck yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. 
that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. Ooh. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. I want to go there. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. A handful of soul gem shards, Oops. some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. And her We're own also blood. Going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these Karen kind of is a weird word. Be... Yeah, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Anyway, enough of that. Karn, Karen. Let's get started. I was like saying oh, Karen yeah, strangely like with an accent. Those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. All right, let's find these things. We're looking for void salt. Correct. Oh, it's salt. Yeah, she's got some dragon bones. Impressive. She's been saying it, Karen. I don't remember how she pronounced it. Zoned out. I was enamored by her beauty. Having trouble finding those ingredients? Yes. I feel like I've already grabbed everything here. Karen? <laughs> Even with it typed out, I'm, I'm still pronouncing it the same way. Karen. Wait, that's candle. Oh, void salt, it's nice. I guess I didn't notice that the first time around. All right, what else do I need? A purified void salt, finely ground bone meal. I feel like I have that. Oh, no, never mind. that was the right one. Okay. Bone meal, bone meal. I feel like I, I, I saw bone meal somewhere and I didn't grab it. Having trouble finding those ingredients? Mm, well, maybe she could help me, you know. Bone meal. Wait. Finally ground bone meal. What was the last one? Soul gem shards. I have a ton of those. But I'll grab more. Oh, I see. You had to grab the stuff from the Get bowl. Get the ingredients in that vessel and let me know when you're ready. Place the ingredients in which vessel? Oh. Get the ingredients in that vessel and let me know when you're ready. All right. Let's do it. Then the rest now just a teeny bit of blood. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Of course. What is it? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. 
I never thought of the cost. Neither do I. She always seemed happy before we heard the prophecy. And then it all changed. She became a different person. They both did. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel super invested in the story of her mom. I felt about I'm, in, I'm invested in the vampires, but Are not specifically her mom. All right. Here goes. But I do really want to go in this portal. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool portal. I'm gonna jump into it like a pool. Whoa! I like it here. It's, it's like, kind of, it's creepy, but it's very wow, it's very pretty. Reminds me of Kentucky. <laughs> Damn, I gotta visit Kentucky then. This place is sick, and there's a ghost. Will he talk to me? This place. Tears at me as though I am still alive and being drawn and quartered. I can't stand it anymore. Oh, that's not very happy. Let's keep moving. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> she doesn't really sound like he's having a good time. Man, I just love the sky. Wow. Kind of looks like a the like iris of an eye, like around it. Maybe that's why she keeps saying she feels like she's being watched. This is all wrong. I think this place is chill. It's like a little fish, flying fish. Harvest soul fisher. Okay. Stay away from the Oblivion Gate, I told them. Did they listen? Of course not. <laughs> what a horrible place. Man, everyone's being so pessimistic about this place. I don't think it's that horrible. I mean, I've only been here for five minutes, maybe... I've been here for less than five minutes. <laughs> maybe it gets worse. Only literal purgatory. True. I guess. I guess any place seems cool if you get to, uh. get to leave when you're over it. Do you know why they're here? Um, I'm guessing it has to do with the. in the note, one of the books I read, I think it's her journal, about souls in the soul gems going here after they're done. Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong, though. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we talk to more of the ghosts or find her mom. Really quickly though, I'll be right back. I gotta get water. <laughs> One second.
back, sorry. Jimmy has the prairie dogs out, so I had to stop and say hello to Dr. Grubbs and baby Larry. <sighs> also, I'm out of breath. I love this place. Sucks on first playthrough, though. I like this place. I like it so far. I want to lick at everything. This looks like it would hurt me. Maybe it doesn't. Wait, am I? Oh. For a second, my hand looked fucked, like, fucked up when I saw it in the first person. Soul husk? That's cool. But my hands are normal. This place looks amazing with this edition graphics and the original not so much. Really? Oh man, I would really love to see what it looked like originally to see the difference. I don't know why, but this game reminds me of PlayStation 2. <laughs> I like I can't think of a game that's reminding me of or anything. I think it's the colors of the sky. I think the, the sky colors are really like I don't know. Remind me of PS2 games in like a really good way. I like, I like that. Only those who have suffered long can find the light within the shadows. I am so freaking true. Ooh. Hey, let me in here. I feel like these bars are not very wide. I think I could easily <laughs> slip between them. The PlayStation intro animation had a lot of blue in it, or PS2. It's reminding me of just like PS2 games in general. I think I think it's the sky colors. But can't really name a game that's reminding me of. I can't even name a, a ton of PS2 games in general off the top of my head. I feel like I'm. Leave me be. I feel like I'm forgetting a lot of them. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna. How do I pronounce that name? Geobs? G G I, <laughs> I don't know how to read. <laughs> Jobs Optimus Part 8. Jub? Jobs Optimus? Jub kind of makes sense. Remember, in the end, 76 cliff racers were slaughtered. I was knee deep in their corpses, my body on the verge of collapse, but I had survived. I smiled to the heavens and all went black. When I awoke, all I felt was on my back. All I felt was my back on a cold stone floor. Every muscle in my body was on fire, and my vision was blurred. Slowly, I tried to climb to my feet. It took several agonizing. Then it leaves off because we only have one page. Take that with me. Hey, CX! Thank you for the 82 months. I don't even know if Flint knows how to read. Uh, you know, only just barely. Reading is very hard. I think it's pronounced Geob. Geob. Damn, we gotta find the other other notes. Armored Core 2 comes to my mind. Uh, I never got to play the Armored Core games. Why can't I just die? I fear I'm cursed to walk this desolate land forever. That sucks. Hi, Bills. How's the stream been? Internet's been shitting the bed, so I'm missing a ton. Oh man, I'm sorry your internet's being fucked. Stream's been good. I just found this cool place. The... Who's there? I knew I heard Who's where? Just went through a portal. Made by... <laughs> the Bone Man! I love it! These guys are called Bone Men. That's so funny. Oh. Um, it's a cool place. The portal. Got to the portal made by Strana's mom. That's cool. Sorry, my brain is not working the best today. I'm pretty sleep deprived today. 
So my brain's not at full capacity. I don't know if anyone's noticed. I'm sure you probably have. <laughs> then I'm a little bit out of it. Sucks that sleep affects you so much. I wish I could just get by with like a little bit of sleep all the time. You say that half the time? Yeah, because I definitely don't sleep enough down. all the time. That's what it was. Then I must be. Oh no. He didn't even realize he was a soul. Let's keep moving. I feel like we're being watched. I quit melatonin recently. I've quit melatonin before. Like I know it's really bad for well, I mean, I won't say like really bad for you, but not good for you. It's not good for me. I, I definitely feel really groggy when I take melatonin. I was taking it every day for a little bit, and I, I just stopped taking it just a couple days ago. Like, I would say four days ago, I think. And the past four days, I've felt the most awake I have in a really long time. Except today, because I didn't sleep enough last night. In general, I've been feeling pretty good. But I had to wake up early for a doctor's appointment today, so that's why I'm sleep deprived. But if I had slept the normal amount, I'd be feeling pretty good today, I think. What's up, Andrew? Hi, Bucket. It could be bad if you take it for an extended period of time. Yeah. That's why I stopped taking it. I didn't even realize how much it was affecting me until I stopped taking it. I never took a lot of melatonin. It was like a really small amount, like less than one milligram. But, um... Yeah, I definitely feel way better when I don't take it. But I, I kind of just got used to it, so I didn't realize how much it was affecting me. But the, the past three days, I felt the most clear-headed I have in... Where'd you whoa. Go? In a really long time. This guy is pretty, pretty tanky. I'm not doing a lot of damage to him. Oh, the crap. I took Ambien once and had a nightmare I was being tortured. I haven't done anything like that since. It was horrible. That sounds horrible. I'm sorry you experienced that. Sounds like the worst thing ever. Never, never experienced anything like that. I get weird dreams when I take anything for sleep. I don't think, for me, I don't think melatonin affected my dreams too much. Just felt really groggy the next day. Okay, maybe I'm gonna wait till I have more pages before we read it. Read that journal, because it's kind of <laughs> a little difficult reading little fragments. What the fuck was that? Why would they do that? Why would they jump scare me like that? I almost choked on my own spit when that happened. That was really scary. Oh my god. I did not like that at all. Oh, but I like the book. <laughs> the game's like, we're gonna make you suffer, but here's a book to make up for it. And I accept that. I do like books. Huh. <laughs> Didn't you know Skyrim's a horror game? That was pretty horrific. Oh. <laughs> All right, the Book of Life and Service. The ranks of the blessed, blessed are the bone men, for they serve without self and spirit forever. Blessed are the mist men, for they blend in the glory of the transcendent spirit. Blessed are the wrath men, for they render their rage unto the ages. Blessed are the masters, for they bridge the past and span the future. The litany of service, the bone man's oath, we die, we pray, to live, we serve. The master's voice, he swore to serve your lord. Damn, I'm praying out here. A nice helmet. <sighs> I'm still like catching my breath from that. Wait. Oh my god, Saran is just running. Oh! Okay. Alright. I just I fell through the cracks. 
Damn, first time I've died without the death mod. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right, but it doesn't work. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to get down if I die from that height. That doesn't even look like I'm that high up. Okay, I'll land on that thing. That fucking quick save now. Where's Saran? Is she still in there? No. <gasps> no way! How do you get down from here? I'm just gonna spend the rest of my days up here? Oh, never mind. Didn't know. I guess I. I'm stuck. I guess I should have looked at every angle before I jumped. I'm kind of stuck though. Uh oh. Uh oh. I actually cannot move. <sighs> I can't move. I can't move. <laughs> There you go. Whew. And now I'm trapped in the soul cairn. It's <laughs> <sighs> a very cursed building. I don't like it. No, I don't like this building. What a fucked up little tower. What a cruel joke that they added. Do you know that Spider-Man has a winter jacket made entirely of Medita Mediterranean flatbread? It's a pita parka. <laughs> that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good dad joke. Man, I can't remember which direction we came from. Where's the big staircase tower? I know we came from the staircase tower. I don't even see it now. I have no sense of direction. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Where the hell are you? Uh, I'm in the soul cairn. I'm in some soul... Purgatory type place. That looks like a dragon. I feel like I jumped into a PS2 game. I just can't get that out of my head. I paid for it. How many times have I died? Uh, like in total? A lot. I have no idea. My death mod doesn't work anymore though. Like the death penalty mod. So unfortunately... Right now, when I die, nothing happens. Hi, Bucket. What'd you miss? Um... Whoa. This looks like the border. Yeah, I can't walk here. Uh... Basically, I've been sent on a quest... to... Get rid of the sun by the vampires, and I had to get an elder scroll, and I had to find a moth priest to read it, so we did, and then the moth priest basically said, oh, sorry, you need two more elder scrolls, so Serana's mom is supposed to have one of the elder scrolls, so we're just looking for her right now, and she left a little notebook that said she went into the soul cairn, which is this place. And we're just, we're just hanging out here, looking for her, also just vibing. Did I go in this building? I don't know if I did. I get jump scared again. Oh, <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, what? In a dark world where no light shines through, 
I carry this burden with every step I take. Let's keep Leave moving. Me be. Damn. Is that Lydia? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine everyone you've killed in the game ends up here. That'd be a good way to make you feel bad. Damn, look at this view, though. Nice view. One of Riemann's court wizards. Leave me be. Damn, he looks cold. Oh, that looks important. Make sure I keep a uh, quick saving. <laughs> when he said something about getting jump scared, I got an ad that jump scared me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That's it's fucked up. Oh wow, that is hurting me. Youch! What the heck? I was thinking that would work since the staff was a fire staff. Damn, that shit hurt it though. <gasps> Serana, watch out! It's hurting her too. Alright, let's get down from here. Yeah, that's pretty good loot. Um, I thought I saw a little entranceway somewhere this way, maybe. Oh, I guess I didn't go here. Lightning attractor. Oh. Place so a sold room. Oh, Where'd you Wrath Man. Who's there? Oh, he's a little weakling. I didn't even get a chance to, to swing at him. Uh, a black soul gem. It looks like there's still something here on the. I guess that's where the lightning rod one was. This place is cool. I want to talk to all the soul, soul people. Hey, Jamie! Thank you for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Is this modded? Um, I have very minimal mods. I guess now I have barely any because I... I had a mod that affected deaths and added death penalties, but it broke very recently and I can't get it fixed. So I have very... I have like Sky UI. 1,000 steps and a thousand more. Is that what this guy's gonna say? There's no escape. I have Sky UI, um, one that adds 
What is it? Oh, it changes the font of books so to make it easier to read. And then a mod that gets rid of like that little critical hit cutscene. Because it was really, really annoying with the combat. Hey, we got page one. Been such a cozy vibe in here watching you play Skyrim the last couple weeks. Oh, I'm glad you think so. Jamie, you stream RuneScape, right? I think I've seen your stream before. I read this book already. Oh, I gotta get on that side. There's no escape. Serana go. Um, I've lost my companion, the only person important to me in this world. Where the fuck did she go? Am I blind? <laughs> I don't see her. Um, I agree. The first time playthrough is refreshing. How do you feel about checking out Oblivion? Oh, I'm definitely going to play Oblivion. I want to play all of them now. I want to play Oblivion and Morrowind. And I want to play the first two, but I don't know. I've heard like mixed reviews of the really old games. A lot of people in the chat said they're not, the old ones are not very good. Oh, there she is. But I'd want to at least, like, try them out. Serana's only thing keeping you going. She really is. She's all I have in this world. Oh, I think I see an entrance. Wait, is that? That's where I just was. That looks like an entrance, though. Daggerfall is technically good, it's just really outdated. What about the other one? Um, I think it's called Arena. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac, my horse. We came to this His horse place horse is in this we place? Were by monsters, so I told him to run. That's really Please, sad. He's a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like I'll this definitely place save him. You. I would hope someone would save Gunner. Arvac, Arvac, where are you? Arvac, please come back, come back. Daggerfall is great if you can appreciate old DOS games. The first game, Arena, is rough. It's basically a proof of concept for Daggerfall. Oh man, that guy just disappeared. I see. I have no problem with old games. I like old games. That guy sounds so sad. He does sound really sad. What quest did he give me? Not that one. Oh, I didn't even have my main quest toggled on right now. <laughs> Where's the quest to save his horse? It'd be at the very top of my list, wouldn't it? Oh, oh, uh, miscellaneous. Find Arvac's skull in the soul cairn. I'm freaking stuck. How could they trick me like this? I was one of Reeman's court wizards. Damn him too? Another one of the souls said that. Please don't jump scare me. Oh. I was already here. I'm starting to <laughs> starting to go in circles a little bit. This looks important. Oh, 
These both look good, but they're really heavy. I can't hold on to that that much. I'm pretty much saying that about everything I find now. Every cool item I find, I can't really bring with me unless it's exceptionally cool and I drop something else for it. Daggerfall to update the graphics and some quality of life. Things might be better. Haven't given it a try, but I think it's called Daggerfall Unity. Oh yeah, someone someone mentioned that one earlier. Who's there? I wonder how much it changes. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, like <gasps> freaking fire arrows. Survival mode is not letting you be a hoarder. Oh, is there no weight like weight limit? If you're not playing survival, I guess that makes sense. Like you could just have an unlimited inventory of six million items without without it. You think of them not unlimited, like but greater. Oh, I see. You'd be wrong. Let's just find my mother and get out of here quickly. I want to stay here. Oh, this place hurt. It hurts. Page three. All right, we're collecting the pages. Oh man, ow. I'm surprised that survival mode wasn't, uh, like, or how do I exp explain my thoughts? I'm surprised that it's not like just automatically in the game when you start, like for everyone. Cause I feel like survival makes you util utilize so many things like the food and everything. Like if you're not playing survival, what's the point of all the food in the game? I guess maybe it heals you a little bit, but it doesn't seem like it would really do that much. And same with like all the chests for storage and all that. It's weird how much food they made on release. Like cooking should, could be a skill. I was surprised it wasn't a skill. I think it should be too. I remember lots of memes about piles and piles of food. There's a lot of food. Which for me is great for survival mode, but I feel like with that survival mode, I would just ignore most of it. And same with like the beds everywhere. I, I mean, it's immersive to see if the game would look really empty, like the houses would look empty without it. Oh, this looks like the right way. Man, this place is huge. Leave me be. Oh. Oh my god, that's the guy's horse that he was talking about. He looks so majestic here. It's the coolest horse I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I'm chasing him. Wish I could tame him. Oh. And there he goes. Oh. R.I.P. Gunner, that wasn't Gunner. Gunner would never die. Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh. This guy's got names. Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. Hmm. How in the name of Zenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double cross a necromancer? <laughs> you got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plumped here with Oh, maybe that was word. his horse, a different horse. I used to be one of the best traders in Highlock, you know. Oh, people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Got anything left? Very funny. 
And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. Hmm. It's soul gems. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly fungus looking things growing out of the ground. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on if my If they're house. everywhere, why does he want them? He can just grab them. Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather, before all of this nonsense happened to me. I mean, I'll get him Tell his me stuff. What you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If you have the husks. I don't have them yet, but I'll get them. still got it, Morgan. A salesman even beyond the end. Got Jubs page. It's crazy that he'd be able to bring his, like, worldly possessions with him to this place. spell worked. I mean, it's these things. I can't believe that it actually worked. Your master puzzle solver. <laughs> Man, most of the puzzles, like the really big ones, have been really... The solving of them has been really... Um, dissatisfying, because a lot of them, especially all the like, Dwemer ones, I didn't actually solve them, like, I didn't think of anything, I just pressed things until it worked. Oh my god! Not again... <laughs> Nothing even up here for me. I guess a nice view. Oh, there's a chest here. I need larger pockets. I can't, can't carry all this stuff. Oblivion has solid puzzles from what I remember. I'm excited for that. I'm sure the puzzles in this game, like... Um... Like, I'm sure if I was able to actually figure out how to solve them, it'd be satisfying, but... I mean... They always just like fall into place, which is pressing buttons a bunch. Okay, I need to find those soul husk things. I saw a bunch on that side of this uh, like gate thing. Oh, this is one. How many do I have? I grabbed a couple at one point. Um, am I just like scrolling past him, not seeing him? Oh, that's six of them. wouldn't want to eat those me. I mean, if you're hungry enough, I feel like you'd try anything. 
I feel like if you're hungry enough, you try eating a fucking rock or something. Just to see if <laughs> it can help. It can solve your hunger even just a, t a teeny tiny bit. It's gonna teleport me. That's Serrano, you gotta get out of the way. This won't end well for you. She doesn't know what happened to my last companion. What are you, dragon? Um, I mean, I wouldn't want to, but if I was hungry enough, who fucking knows what would happen? Yeah, there's nothing in here. I feel like I'm missing something. Why would this place be locked up? There's nothing in here. <laughs> Serrano's like fighting for her life and I'm just in here like, hmm. Damn, I really thought that would do something. I would eat dragon in a heartbeat, but it tastes like gator. Well, what does gator taste like? Oh man, you're going down. It tastes like dragon. <laughs> Ugh. What is this area? I've never seen this. I'm in the soul cairn. Um, we followed, well, not followed, but kind of followed. Serana's mother, my beautiful wife Serana, her mother apparently went to this place to get away from her dad. Or get away from Serana's dad. Uh, so we're trying to find her. Man, this guy's got a lot of health. So it's like this place where soul... Souls that were trapped in the soul gem things, I think, kind of get stuck here. If I was understanding correctly. And there's dragon bones here, which is very, very interesting. Oh, there's like a castle up there. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. I'll go there. We'll go there in a second. I really, I need to get these soul husks so I could trade with the vendor. I bet bone men throw hella parties. I bet they're really good at dancing. They just seem like they would be. They got the figure for it. The lady. A soul gem. That's what it is. Then Some marriages you can just tell aren't gonna last. No. I don't know, cause Serrano was saying they had they were a very happy family up until her dad got obsessed with like the vampire like, prophecy or something. But you know, maybe the signs were there. 
knows? Yeah, her dad went cuckoo. <laughs> Soul Cairn sounds like literal hell. I think it's supposed to be like a purgatory type place. Oh! Oh! Oh man, that's a lot of them. Let's get a zombie up in here. Oh. There goes my zombie. <laughs> he died so fast. Ow. Oh my god! I thought that was Serana for a second. Forgot what my beautiful wife looked like. We just summoned Bone Man spell. That'd be so sick. I like the. There's it's like a cooler version of a skeleton. Ow! Scary. It's way too good with the bone arrow. I guess I'm also I'm weak to fire. I didn't think of that. Oh, Mario goes the body. Whoa, this, re this reminds me of um, the fire fire keeper in Dark Souls. Didn't this game come out like the same year as Dark Souls One, or am I am I wrong on that? I read yesterday that this game, like Skyrim, came out on 11 11 11, November 11th, 2011. Which is pretty cool. Hmm. Didn't open. I guess there's gotta be one more of those, because that gate didn't. Oh! Ha! What? Okay. What's that cruel trick? I was excited to talk to that ghost. Or soul. Cool looking staff. I'm gonna take it. It's too heavy, but we'll figure. I have a lot of potions. They weigh half a pound each. I should probably drop some of these. I'm gonna drop all the poison because I don't use poison. Eh. Oh, this cheese weighs a lot. There you go. Crazy we got the whole Dark Souls trilogy, Bloodborne, Secure, and Elden Ring before we got a Skyrim sequel. True, but to be fair, I mean... There are games before Skyrim. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe it took them a long time to figure out which direction they want to take the lore or something. They blow all their money on Fallout, on Elder Scrolls Online. When did Elder Scrolls Online come out? I thought it was like newer. I think I already talked to this one. There's no escape. It's like 2013. Oh wow. That's like not that long after Skyrim, I guess. Skyrim was 2011. Yeah, I guess maybe they did pour their resources into that. I have that? Are you alive? I must be a magic. 
imagining this. He's the first one to notice. Get out while you can. Is there no oh, end? Man. Please end this misery. Can I end his misery? I don't even. I haven't even tried this yet, but I'm gonna try this only because he asked me to. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I could defeat a soul. Hi, Casmus. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm always doing good when I'm playing Skyrim. Okay, I just need a couple more of those soul husks so I can trade with that vendor. Ghost vendor. I'm really surprised by how gigantic this place is. I thought it was going to be a small little zone when we first got here. Always having fun while rimming. That's true. Skyrim, Rimworld. Incredible games. Incredible time. <gasps> Soul Husk. <gasps> Conjure Bone Man, no way! It actually exists! I thought someone was joking when they said, oh, we need a spell like that. Yeah, that's going on my favorites list. Where's my magic? It's freaking bone man time. Ow! I went to the Skyrim Midnight release in... In your city? That's really cool. What was it like? I've never gone to a midnight release ever. I remember when I was a kid, I really wanted to go to one one day. But, you know, never, never worked out. And then it seems like now they just don't do them. How many people in the chat have gone to midnight releases before for games? Go line up for the next iPhone release. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. Can't wait to get a phone that's slightly better. You know, I got the, I, oh man, I don't know which phone I have. I think I have the iPhone 14. Um, I had the iPhone 10 before this one, and I'm not even joking. The the camera on the iPhone 10 was better than the one on this one. Like the older camera was better. This one like it like distorts the textures. It's not just me. I've looked it up before, and a lot of people have that that problem with the same phone I have. So I'm never fucking get a new phone. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get the iPhone 10 again. I got four ads in a row, see with a line man follower. <laughs> yeah, I got a bone man. <laughs> He's so wacky. I love his movements. He's like going like this <laughs> when he's running. Only run away so he could see it. He's so fucking cool. Yeah, I just found a book for Summon Bone Man. And now I've got him. Now he's my little buddy. My 13 Pro takes great pictures. I'm scared to upgrade to the 14 or 15. The 14, like, distorts it, but only for pictures of, like... I, I don't think you notice it if it's not a picture of, like, your face. Like, it adds texture to the skin of your face. Oh. That's wearing armor. Oh my god! I'm gonna die! <laughs> what? Okay, let's um let's keep a distance from him, I think. Just some fire. Fire spells. Okay, he's kinda fast. Man, 
he had really cool armor. I wish I could take it. I was read so many or read about so many issues with new phones. The 15 titanium can be bent. Huh. <laughs> That's not good. Candy, anything can be bent if you try hard enough. That's a good point. Hi, Erlen. The blue lights look like your orb in the background. Oh yeah, in in these little things, it is like the same same shade of blue. Good ass color, if I may say so myself. Yeah, this place is huge. I keep saying that, but oh, I bet this can teleport me. Yeah. Ooh, splashing me. Hey, that looks... Oh, I think those are just arrows. Um... Guess I'll place it. get down. <laughs> I want to get down. Wait, I see a chest though. They weren't that strong. Hey, what's up General Sam? Is this game any good? Eh, it's alright. It's alright. Never heard of these Bethesda fellows before, but you know, I think they're on the right track. Man. Okay, surely we have enough of these. Oh yeah, 35. I gotta find that vendor now, but we've like strayed so far, I don't know if I'm ever gonna find him. Honestly, no fibbing. Your field of view is so low, it's making me motion sick. Yeah, I tried changing it, like, my second day playing, and it never saved my settings, and I kind of just got used to it. Eventually, I'll get used to it. I think I... It was too much for me to have to change it every single day. I'm lazy. I'm scared to please summon Bone Man. Oh yeah, we do need him back. I love this little guy. I wish you could summon more than one at the, like at once. Like I'd love to have an army. I don't think this is the vanilla field of view. Just a low one. I'm playing on whatever the default one is. Default field of view. Man. Everything looks the same. I, I can't remember where the vendor was. It was this way. How long do you guys think you'd last in this place before losing your, your mind, like, completely? 
Hey, what's up, Michael? The soul place? Yeah! Two minutes? <laughs> a week? Well, how's our... You guys are on the opposite end of the spectrum for how long you'd last. I always think, like, if anything wacky happened to me in real life, like, anything paranormal or whatever, it's so anything weird, my immediate assumption would just be that I went crazy. I don't think I'd ever believe that anything insane was actually happening to me. I would just instantly be like, yep, I'm fucking losing it. I'm crazy. I feel like I'd just accept it. I don't know if that's good or bad. Like, I don't know if that means I'd last longer or shorter in a place like this. Oh, I don't know what I want to get. Should I get a sword or a spell token? I kind of want to get a sword. Oh, wondrous blade. It, ah, never mind. It just take the darn thing. What I get? It's 20 points of stamina damage. Eh. Kind of lackluster. With that constant thunder immediately. I feel terrible for the dead who end up here. I like the sound of thunder too, but like still it is it is kind of a lot. Alright, I don't think his wares are that cool. I guess let's go to the castle. Can you get more than one? Yeah, if I collect more of those little plant things to bring to him, I could buy more stuff, but it took a long time to get 35 or 25. I should have went with a spell tome. Wrong choice. Go smirching with the loot box of Skyrim. I do love gambling. Check this place out. This place looks a little important. Man, I really hope that if I ever leave this place, I can come back. Because I... I just think Mother? that me and Serana could have a good Mother. life here. It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. I can't move closer. There's like a barrier. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? Dude, what's with that hairstyle? I don't have time to explain. Serana is so beautiful. How's her mom have such a wacky, silly hairstyle? The prophecy, hasn't he? No, you got it all wrong. She got the space buns. They don't look very good. You brought a stranger here. Have you lost your mind? Um, I'm actually her wife, you, so I'm not a stranger. Forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? I'm a little racist. <laughs> uh, I've been keeping her safe. Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain oh, that to you. Oh, I didn't know that she did not. I th well, did she? Maybe I wasn't listening. <laughs> to place my own daughter in that tomb. I didn't realize we like fully were not or at or all completing the prophecy. I thought maybe we would. A means to an maybe we'd do it. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What? When I fled Castle Volgahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. What does that like mean? Myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Bar. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Bar on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. 
Hmm. A lot of questions. It was expected of her. Just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. What it's called, Harbor. It's what some call the domain of Molik Ball. His place in oblivion. Huh. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Solana. And why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, what if she just gives a little bit of blood for the good of all vampires? And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? Um. <laughs> I don't know. Have you been listening to me? I mean, her blood would like work, Serana, wouldn't it? I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. She's making a lot of... <laughs> a lot of, uh... Assumptions about me. Serana? A stranger may call herself a vampire, but she knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to her? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. Yeah, she's defending me. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes. The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never I asked am. me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want right. to be your family again, but I don't know. If They're talking pretty happy. calmly. This is a pretty dramatic we conversation. Kind of happiness. So without the yelling, it isn't for us. But we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed Serana seems to be a bit naive. To estrange us for too long. Forgive me. Yeah. If you want the Elder Scroll. She's very trusting. Your well, intentions of me, are still a stranger. somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes. Let's take that I little kept scroll. I've secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest. Interesting that she was imprisoned here. I thought she like willingly At their bases, went here. The barrier's energy to get away. drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. All One right. More word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the kingdom. There's a dragon here? Be wary. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Oh, good question. Can I come back so here? You've been traveling in the Soul Cairn. Your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Nice. Um, how'd you become imprisoned? When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn, and in exchange, I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they crave. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. 
You know, it's kind of like karma, though, because she was gonna. The ideal masters <laughs> unleashed their keepers, she was gonna trap people here too, or at least their souls. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. Unfortunately, yes. Since the keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other to see which would give in. Man. I want to know more, but she's also talking so fucking much. She's a yapper. I know very little about them. They're mystic entities. The Lord over the soul camp. Maybe it's just that she talks really slow. Its fabric to its appearance. Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the soul can. I believe there's more to it than that. Nothing like I a good old Lord Dom. Send what we perceive as a physical form. Perhaps she just gotta talk a little faster for me. But they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. Conduits, through which the ideal masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. The ideal master's weakness is their insane. The ideal master is such a badass title. It's the reason for the soul cairn's existence. I kind of want to become one of them. Just for the title. The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. However, the majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the Ideal Masters wind up here as harvested souls. Alright. And keep my daughter safe. Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. Usually this amount of lore only happens at the beginning of these things. I guess, I mean, or at the beginning of this big task, I guess. Does this place have a map? Oh, kind of. Very small map. So that could be my new Discord role, Ideal Master, maybe. Aw, oh, she just said she's glad I'm here. Okay, do I have this quest activated? Boneyard Keepers. I have no idea which direction to go. Apparently I've already killed one of them. Just stumbled upon them. Ooh, this thing looks cool. I'm glad you're here. Man, if I had known that there'd be so much loot, I would have came here like empty handed. Hi, hamster. Did I watch Love is Blind? No, I haven't. One of my friends recommended that show to me, but I don't really enjoy like reality TV type of shows. To know if they're for me. You hate love? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, I just hate love. It's not even reality TV. Just love. Ended very poetically, like articles are being written left and right about this one scene. Damn, I didn't know that show was like that. Um that big, like that popular. I think there should be more to this place than just a chest. It's like, the statue thing looks important. Did they blind them at the end? <laughs> yeah, only if they find true love, the, the price for that is, is your sight. It's like reading an Elder Scroll. Um. Oh, 
I think maybe that tower looks like something important. Oh, I'm hungry. The mom of one of the contestants found out, found out she'd been getting cheated on by her ex-husband decades after their divorce and she gave a huge speech. The mom of one of the people on the show? I'm surprised they'd even give him airtime. <laughs> yeah, why was the mom there? That's what I'm confused about. <laughs> That bone man can live. I'm looking for like a big guy. Oh, it was like a wedding scene. I see. Hi, Ark. Started here. Yeah, I've been here for a bit now. Just exploring. Away from the gate, I told Talking them. to ghosts, seeing what they got got to say. Talking to souls. What a horrible place. They're all very grumpy. Can you ever return to this place? Yeah. The Serana's mom said I could come back. Because part of the... Part of this place, like, imprinted onto my soul. Where'd you come from? I'm gonna read those pages once I find more of them, by the way. I'm not ignoring the pages, I just... You get like snippets of them, so I'm waiting till I have more of them so I can read them all kind of like concisely. I must return to the frontline Alessian headquarters at once. Lives are hanging in the balance. Please. Oh man, I don't know if that guy knows that he's never leaving this place, probably. Have you found the AK-47? I'm still looking for it. To find our crafting recipe. Okay. Um. Okay, that tower looks important, so I guess we'll go towards there. charge. Uh, this will go one-handed again. It's not the guy we saw yesterday. That ghost? Or soul? I don't know. Oh, a book! I've read that one three times already. A Reaper gem. What happens if you capture a soul and a soul gem while inside the soul cairn? That's a good question, I don't know. I don't know if any of my weapons do that soul gem capturing stuff. Oops. This is why it's great to watch you play this. You keep doing things that you don't know you're not supposed to be able to do. I don't even know what I did that I wasn't supposed to. You're supposed to be able to. Serana comes with me, because I don't want to fight this alone. 
she's not here. Nope, she's here. Gotta fight big guy. Damn, none of these guys will talk to me. <laughs> I understand they're a little bit busy, but oh, oh. Could at least say hello. Bone man time. kind of unfair since it's a 2v1. It's kind of like a 3v1. Serana, how about you step on this creepy thing first? I'm tired of being the one to test things to see if they're trapped or weird or uncomfortable. in the enemy hand are overpowered. I wonder how they overlooked how strong they are for so long. Maybe it's like, maybe it's my armor or something. Maybe I got weakling armor. Yeah, none of the souls will talk to me anymore. They don't like me anymore? problem. Okay. I see a tower. I've done a lot of tank builds and you'd have to heavily invest in armor. And I think enchantment for arrows not hurt that much. You know, I haven't used bow, bow and arrow too much, like myself, but maybe it's really strong for me too. Oh, this is the skull of the horse. It's supposed to save the skull of someone's horse or something like that. Skin. We fuck in the soul cairn. Yup. It's a very romantic place, to be honest. If you overlook all the creepiness. Guy's broken. I think he's stuck. They're, they're usually flying around like little maniacs. Whew. 
I usually play a lot like Flutton is mix of melee and some magic. Huh. Oh, want? it's the guy with the journal. How does anyone expect me to write my opus with all of these rude interruptions? What do I mean, indeed? If I hadn't lost all of the pages, I wouldn't be in this predicament. And is he naked? Wouldn't be having this conversation. I think he's wearing pants. Saran is checking if he's wearing pants. Very well. I suppose a moment or two of my time couldn't hurt. I am Jib. What's a saint? Some call me Saint Jib. Others call me Jib the Eradicator. Uh, perhaps you. He kind of sounds like Corpse me. Husband. Surprised by your answer. Until I get my second volume published, no one will. It was a uh, Emmett. Emmett. I'm a big fan of I Eat Your Pie. A book. I'd hardly call a 26 volume epic simply. And 26 a book. pages. I only have like four of them. Surely you've heard of the rise and fall of Saint Jim the Eradicator, hero of Morrowind and savior of the Dunmer. <laughs> I feel bad telling him I haven't heard of him. How many hours into Skyrim are you? Um, I think somewhere between 65 and 70. Probably closer to 70. I think I started today with like 65. I've been grinding. Terrible. Simply terrible. I was in the midst of writing the second volume, and they just threw me into this prison. It's unfair. his minions. They didn't even give me a chance to explain who I was. I'll find his I'll find his pages and publish well, them for him. Maybe so. take the credit. It cast a spell at me from some kind of strange black crystal. Next thing I knew, I arrived here. My what? Wait. Uh, so a lot of the souls here don't even realize that they're that they're dead. No. All these wasted months. That's really sad. Yes, it made me years. I don't even remember how much time has passed. No, my work will never see the light of day. My name will be forgotten. You'd think they'd notice after, Perhaps. you know, not being hungry, you know not needing sleep afraid? or water, or anything after all this time. Maybe I can't leave, but my writings can. In order to write the second volume of my opus, I need the notes from my first volume. Otherwise, I need to do all of this from memory. When I was tossed in here, I felt myself falling, and I dropped the pages I had been holding. There were ten of them in all. Oh, ten Find of them. them for me, please. Wait, I think I, I have half. I always got lost for hours in this place. Yeah, I've been here for a long time now, too. Oh, I got 7 out of 10. I'm almost done. Well, that's a ridiculous question. Everyone traveling through here has said that the Oblivion Gates have been opened all over Tamriel. Has it been that long? Did I get the Death Mod working? No. Well, it started with the followers of Mehrun's Dagon having Emperor Uriel Septim VII assassinated. He's about to tell me the whole story. The throne of the Empire, Dagon was able to leave Oblivion through the gates and attack. All I heard is that without a septum sitting on the throne of the Empire, the dragon fires in a place called the Temple of the One were no longer lit. This meant that we were vulnerable to the forces huh. of Oblivion. I feel like this is important. I gotta remember this. Everything seemed fine until that Dramora attacked me. I only heard later about the gates from the other souls. I can only assume the gates have been closed by now. At this rate, my first volume will be complete. Don't 
don't give up. All right. Spoilers. <laughs> Having the adoration of thousands. Damn. Now there's no reason to play the other the games, I guess. What's up, Dandy Jordan? Dude, one of his pages was right here. He couldn't, he couldn't walk, he couldn't grab it. He's <laughs> lazy. This guy's tanky or my weapon sucks. to be so big. I always fight bone man, but where are the bone women? Is he true? They're, they're, not, they're not being inclusive enough. I want my bone structure represented. And the bone children too. Eh, we could do without those. Kind of annoying. Oh man, Sharana, that looks like it hurts. the last one we have to kill. Nice! Oh, where'd his body go? Like, that's cool looking. I'd love to be able to summon one of those. Just to look at, even. I guess let's go back to her mom. You can draw a wrath, man. That's cool. That's close to what I wanted. Dragon Defender on Runescape. Yo, congrats! It's a pretty big upgrade. I forget where Strana's mom was. Everything looks the same. I've been here too long. I think that way. pages for him. You have the horse skull? Yeah, I got I got the horse skull. I've been feeling very burnt out on Rescape. I feel like that's natural since he just finished maxing. Oh, it's a cow! Oh man. The cows don't deserve to have their souls trapped here. Dunavere, destroyer of souls and harbinger of the fallen. Boost! Roger! 
Humans do deserve it. I mean, probably more than a cow would deserve it, yeah. All cows do is just graze. What could they have ever done wrong in their life? If I should save the game and call it here, because I'm very, very hungry <laughs> right now. Or if I should hand in all the things to Sharonda's mom and then save and call it. But I'm assuming there's gonna be like a big fight with that dragon that everyone keeps talking about. Go get food. I don't really have any food. I have a protein shake. I'm gonna get a protein shake real quick. I don't know if that'll really. That'll help. She might talk too much again. That's true. I might not be able to intake it well if I'm starving hungry. Arvac! You oh, saved him. Play. His soul is free. He's such a loyal beast. Here, I'll teach you how to call him to you. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace. Goodbye, hero. I I get a horse here. That's cool. Gunner got replaced. I'm assuming that this, the horse will only work here. Oh. Um. Uh oh summon Let's check this out. Damn. That's a cool looking horse. Look at Serana, she's staring at me like she loves me. <laughs> like she's very impressed by me. That's really cool. I wonder if I could summon him in the overworld. I think probably not, but I'll definitely freaking try. I wish I had this way earlier <laughs> so I can move around way faster. If only you could have your companion mount up behind you. Yeah, I feel like it's silly that she can't. Like there's so much room on the horse. We would definitely both fit. mod for it? There probably is. Someone said there's like 84,000 mods for this game, so I feel like there's one for almost everything. Except for the one thing I want, which is the, the death penalty mod. Which I guess exists, but it broke. I got a new death penalty mod today to try it out, and that one was broken also. So I, I'm just fucked. Anyway, I do think I will call it here because I am really hungry, so when I'm super hungry, I don't, uh, I don't intake what the NPCs are saying as well. I, I start to zone out a little bit. I definitely want to listen to what Valer Valerica will, will say. I have my brain, like, primed and ready for it. Peace out, enjoy your food. Thanks. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'll be live, um, probably tomorrow. I don't want to say for sure, but I think I'll be live tomorrow. There's a, there's a high chance I'll be live tomorrow, because I, I really want to see what happens with this story. Oops. I hope you guys all have a really good night. Ah, see you later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna host my friend Sput. I don't know what he's playing, some kind of card game. I'll uh, see you all very soon.